It's the complex. It's the complex. It's the complex. Yeah. It's the complex. It's the complex. It's the complex, and it's complex. It's the complex, yeah, and it's complex. Come smoke and chill and have a drink with me. Where we talk about any and everything. No conversations off limits, no topics taboo. Got something off your chest, let the complex be with you. Got my boy Ozell, he's seen like a bird, but on a complex, he's Ray Hale, that's my word. Then we got the noob and you got us, the beautiful queen, giving you a little piece of heaven, if you know what I mean. Shout out to my girl Shaylee, no introduction needed Giving you all the love and energy that's really needed I'm the one they call Murdoch and we the complex, no competition We better than the rest, man, I gotta check my phone for the dialect Hey yo, said we be the complex It's the complex, and it's complex, and we complex, yeah. I've been here. All right. Hey. All right. Welcome back, guys. Hey, how's hey. it going? Wow. I miss y'all. I miss we y'all. Here. Good yeah, to baby. see y'all. Glowing Welcome to the glowing. complex, your spot to chill, relax, and have a few shots if you would like to. I'm your host with the most, Mr. Ozell Phillips, and we got my people in the building. Let's give. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, we're gonna start off with my boy first, my boy, Mr. Nicky <laughs> Murdoch, the one and only. In you know flesh. what I'm saying? Mr. Thing song. Mr. Thing song. Why the Okay. We're coming up with names for ourselves. Okay, I'm feeling like that. The the queen herself, the Nubian goddess, like Craig saying the theme song, Miss Hevo. No. I pushed it, heaven. I said, okay. I guess not. We have our guest here today, the uh, man with the plan, the businessman here, Mr. Corey here. Give a round of applause for our Mr. special guest today, guys. And then uh, we missed her, our our beautiful Ms. sorcerer, Shay Lee. Sorcerer, the beautiful Ms. Shay Lee. Shay Lee. Shay Lee. <laughs> She's gracious with her beautiful presence. Finally, we missed you. We missed you. Oh, yeah. Miss Heaven you said home? finally. I didn't want to say finally, but hell, she said what I needed to say. So we I want appreciate you come it. Home. <laughs> no, I'm glad to see you. We got to see you back here. How you doing? I'm doing good. La- last week we kind of went over a little bit of what we all were doing. What have you been up to? Last week I was still celebrating my birthday for mm, six days straight. Oh, Go ahead, and I hope you was drunk. I'm yeah. drunk. I was oh, drunk man. the whole time, and you know what? I uh, I'm gonna tell you some some consequences of me being drunk for a week. That went up. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, more. I never it. do it no more. Mm. <laughs> we'll get into that. Later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know how we had to start it off. Corey, this is going to be a game that I think you're going to enjoy. You've seen it a few times, but uh, we're going to play the mood game. Mm, my favorite. So I better have <laughs> it's Heaven's favorite guy. Yay. I don't know, though. You might get off the hook depending on it's you in the, the middle. So, so, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, hey, I feel like hey. you're going to practice it. <laughs> <laughs> People, people be yeah, practicing. Right. People watch the show and be like, I'm going to practice. So that way, when I go on there, I'm not going, I'm going right, to shine. Look at that. And then was practicing in the beginning, too. That Ooh. nigga said. Heaven wrote a whole damn rap Heaven, and, and still can recite it, but never no, know where. No, let's talk about that because I fucked up so bad. Yeah. Like, I was I went I'm, home like, here, go to rap Heaven. What happened? What I'm like, happened? I'm like, you rehearsed, you rehearsed the damn song and you don't know the motherfucking word? I wrote it and I was in, on my way here that day. I was like, this is the rap. Da, 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 da. Got here like, damn. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean I, and then I was like, I said, Heaven, I'll, I'll stop the beat. Go ahead. And she still couldn't come All on. I did was smile. <laughs> she still, oh still couldn't deliver what I needed to be delivered. But it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So it's we're going to start right. off with you, Mickey. We're starting off with you today. She said, like, okay, we're okay, starting with me every hard. day. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah, nigga. Hell yeah. Mr. Theme song. You got them right. Yeah, get it all. Yeah, on, you want to fucking you want to name yeah. yourself, nigga? Name yeah. yourself the beginning of the hot game, of the of the mood game, nigga. All right, here we go. He said, "Okay, Mr. Twenty Four Seven, call me Mr. Theme Song." Uh, yo, coming for the throne, I'm the king. 
motherfucker dog want to step in the ring goddamn got the whole crowd behind me people just call me muhammad ali when i swing damn man i flow like a butterfly matter of fact man i sting like a bee make it too people up in here am i true and you know that i'm true to the game what are you who I'm a complex with my niggas. I be, oh my fuck you got it. You got it. You got it. One time, one time, let's go. Let's go. Okay, ready? Come on, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Complex with my niggas. You know him and got a couple triggers. And I got a nigga that got the trigger. And you know I'm hanging around and you know I'm in a thriller. Yeah. Just like Michael Jackson. Know that I'm on the mic, so I'm gonna be snapping. Hey. Got the kids still watching. Cause you know me keeping niggas still black. Hey. Hey. Heaven take, take that shot. Power. I need you to deliver. Heaven take that shot. I deliver, <laughs> I deliver <laughs> once a season. Now that is it's not my time to shine yet. <laughs> At the end of the season, is going to be delivered? She's Corey, be writing all season. Corey, you just came in. You came in like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get your rocks off. Yes, what the fuck, Corey? You said I said. He just beat me. He got to be a light It's something about the guest. It's something about the guest. I'm saying. I'm saying. You've been hanging out with Shay too long. I started off. I started off on that note. Didn't you give me a double? Okay, if you give me a double, you double. You not to half of it though. You know what I'm saying? Like baby, this this look. He gave me three. A little sip. He gave me three. A little sip. He gave me three. My boy, about three, but a double for sure. I would say it's a lot of liquor going out of there. Now, now I got three. I got three or four in this month. I okay, thought like she'd do another yes, round. Well, we, oh, yeah, we got to. Oh, yeah. I, I really need to let heaven redeem herself. So let, let's let her go last. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, okay. She lied. Yeah, she needs okay. to do this. Okay, so we'll bounce with Craig and then we'll bounce with I almost took the wig off. Like, that was just going to be the time where I was getting it together. Okay, you're not. You're not slick. He didn't go either. He should have like, put it on the way he like, dressed today, this, this nigga. I feel like he came, he came to like play. Like he's a hat sorcerer, I feel like I'm the movie. No, 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 no. And I feel like I he came to play, play, so he was not about to play with it. I feel like this nobody, nigga said, nobody, nigga, nobody, if I'm anything, I'm the movie game sorcerer. Nobody, 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 yeah. nobody <laughs> he can. Said, I started this. Is this the motherfucking thanks I get? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. know what? Thank you. Put your own slot, cause goddamn it, that's so you can get exempt. Okay, okay, crazy gonna start because I just felt do like beat. nobody ever gives me a good beat. And I just feel He's like I don't want to hurt myself like that. So, Philip, go first. No, girl, go first. I, don't put my cousin on, he but you know, he's gonna get a bottle of it. Come on, I got you. know, that's so crazy. That's crazy. I support you. I support you too. You know, I want to hear you spit your. I want to hear you spit your gym. Go ahead. That's what that's easy. Rain on me. you. Rain on you. Rain on All the hard times. And you gonna throw me under the bus like this? It's not true. Get that beat ready. <laughs> wow, heaven and right. He said, he said, this is what I've been trying to get all my career. He right. Said, and, and you don't feel you sick. He said, <laughs> he said yeah, you sorry. The sorry motherfuckers I ever sorry seen. Sorry motherfuckers I ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he, you know, bro. You like, yeah, shit. Okay, here we go. Come on, man. Let's, right. let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Uh, mm. I take a shot. I take a shot. Mm. Uh, Yo, I 
take a shot for every guest we didn't had. I take a shot for all my team members in the grab. See, listen, we like the Fat Five and the people up in here, but you know for the complex, I'm a ride. Nah, dog, I'm a die. Nah, matter of fact, dog, I'm a be living in the sky. Uh, dog, I'm like a butterfly. Came from a caterpillar. Everybody up in here, dog, I'm that fucking nigga. Hey. Put a caterpillar in a fucking song. Matter of fact, y'all niggas, I ain't fucking wrong. Hey. People up in here when I'm fucking wrong. Hey, come on now, what's wrong with a little dog? About to do this dance like I see the split. Can't never stop, can't never run. I can't run for shit. About the drums. Right? Hey. You definitely you survived have, that one. You set some bars today, cat. I'm really proud of y'all. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just, I just wanna acknowledge I White Mike at bro, that fire. Bro, literally, like at that fire. At that fire. I said, I said, you ain't fucking best get lost. You know what I'm saying? You said, I'm militant and I'm on my crib shit. Well, I can't stand it, nigga. Ain't no came to rap. Ain't no came to rap. Get that nigga wrecked. They came to rap. They came Craig, to Craig, rap. Craig, I'm still, I'm still stuck on Caterpillar, nigga. I, 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 I put Caterpillar I, 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 in a fucking song. Who said in the freestyle? Tell me. I'm, I'm that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are some yeah. fools. Yeah. I that was, was y'all did a good job. That Everybody was, did a good job. I did y'all. I taught y'all everything I know. I'm proud of you. Girl, all, all right now. All right. <laughs> you you you, 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 didn't, you didn't you didn't finish one round and you feel like you're doing something now. All right. All right. <laughs> One, 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 one round. Maybe the first. Second. I, 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 I don't get up in the business because we only did one round, but you know. I'm glad I, 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 I didn't want to say that. I, I'm not going to get up in the business. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> the power's a little too hot for him. Um, so, Shut your dumb ass down. <laughs> I just feel like everybody's minding business. Okay. Thank you. That's how I feel. He said. 
And on that note, look at that. And on in later news. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and roll up into this 414 hookup, y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. excited to talk about this, y'all. I've been like holding this in for so yeah. long. Oh, okay. tell it. Okay, okay. tell it. So, y'all, I went to this event at the end of last year, uh, last month. It was called Fright Night, right? It was ran by three dope ass individuals in the music scene. Y'all know I don't really go outside my house too much or nothing. Like, I'm gonna yeah. stay in my house. I'm quick to say I'm gonna be there and then fall my ass to sleep because it's not coming. <laughs> um, so it was presented by Unity TV, Playboy Plain Janes, and J Dubs. So, y'all, at this event, when I'm telling y'all, when I walk in, the building fucking amazing. I low key was a little confused. Like, y'all know I use GPS for everything. I'm like, oh, this is kind of close, you know, like, I ain't never this close to my house. But um, when I get there, y'all, Outside is beautiful. We go up this nice ass elevator. I feel like I was in a TV show for a little bit too, to be honest, because it was like them little big old doors you close and shit like that. I'm like, I love those. Say it. I was like, I'm not in New York. I love that. I wouldn't take a picture in the elevator so bad, but I didn't want to do that. I'm saying like the shit was dope. But when I went in there, it was an amazing ass experience. They had like a bar. It has like some open, like open bar. They had some dope ass individuals. They had, oh my God, I met a drummer. Oh, I'm gonna drum that man could drum his motherfucking ass off. I'm talking about he put me back t- to my normal self. I'm thinking that I was like in vocal jazz from arts or the <laughs> like the, the um, yeah, 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 when they get to the, doing the, the drums and shit like that. What's yeah. about uh, I would say band, shit. band, yes, yeah. like when they say <laughs> drum line, drum, drum line, line, yes, drum line. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking, drum line. This man is doing his, is doing his thing, okay, Nick Cannon. And, oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm saying to me, I'm like, Shout having the one person who likes Nick Cannon. Like, bro, get this. Wow. I just cannot love Nick Cannon. I don't know, Nick. I don't know. I, don't know. I wouldn't say that. Like, in, all, in all fairness, he got he got some hits on the on the Bro, movie he side. He got like seven. Oh, okay, so I got, he got like seven. Yeah, yeah, hey, you, you see, see what I did there? Yeah, you see what I did there? Yeah, I was he like, said, see what I did there? Nah, nah, nah. Wait a minute. We should talk about. He do got jiggle up. He do got jiggle up. Jiggle up. That's the song to quote to know that Cannon can't rap. No, okay, so, it's, so, so, so yes, it's, <laughs> it was founded by three people, and it w- they only took about 60 days for it to bring it into life. Okay. Honestly, like with the construction of how it was created, y'all have thought this was something they do every year. It was put together so fucking nicely. Like I'm saying, I was amazed. I kind of want to hire them to put some shit together for me, and I ain't even doing shit. Like, <laughs> I'm just amazed. We, we are doing something. Bro, <laughs> he said, I ain't doing shit, but I want to put some shit together. I, I want them to put something together for me, shit. And like, so... I asked them overall, like, what their dream was. And they were saying that it was, like, to create an experience and a safe space for artists so they can kind of be compensated for, like, them being able to indulge in their talents. Yes. Fright Night. So nothing to do with Halloween. It was on Halloween. It, that, it was on Halloween. But it's for music people? Yeah. It was yeah. a music. It was just a music event. They just happened to have them. Mm. They have it, like, throughout the, like, different times of the year and shit like that. Mm-hmm. We're looking for something to be out there soon. When I find out, I'm going to let y'all know so y'all can come with me and shit so I can also experience this. Like, it was an amazing yeah. fucking community. Um, yes. Were there more than one like band? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I met. Uh, I can wrote this down because I know I'm good with my notes. I had I met a man named Hitman Kwan. He's been doing it for twelve years. Uh, okay. He makes beats. He's a ghostwriter, and like he used writing as an outlet to channel his energy and shit. And I, all, I asked him all for like a little quote to give people for like things they want to pass out to folks that like listen to the music. I took videos. I talked to these people. I got their social medias. I'm going to create a whole little clip and add it to our page so these people can be found because I was fucking blue. Um, right. <laughs> they were niche. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, honestly, being in this, I've never really been in a space like that where it was like open for artists. Like, it's basically all from word of mouth and you would be surprised right. how packed that shit was. Wow. I'm like, why wow, y'all ain't never doing something like Was it underground? I feel like I'm getting underground vibes. Man, it was That's underground. Was saying, like, it was yeah. underground, but it felt like that shit was like everywhere in the world. It was so many fucking people there. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. It was a lot of people. Bro, so many people. And it was so much amazing talent. Like, I think um, one of my favorites was Paper Plain James. She did amazing. Hitman Kwan was also my favorite. The drummer, his name was Drew. He was my fucking favorite. There was a, there was a couple named... Olivia, the unit. Oh my God! It was a couple. It was a man and his partner. It was a woman and her man. A man and her woman and his woman. They did fucking. I'm I was in Spanish. Olivia, the unit. Yes. That's motherfucking a fire ass name. That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm fucking saying. Like y'all. Honestly, you got me intrigued. Right. I'm yeah. like, like shit. Who's Olivia and who's the unit? Shit. And so then I'm one of the producers. They actually own their own like. uh streaming platform called Unity TV where they stream like black owned movies and films and stuff like that. So they actually own a platform for themselves to be able to push out black owned movies and shit like that. So we can kind of be, it's a space for us to go over to find our shit movies for us, directed by us, for us. 
Fubu, you fuck with that? I'm um, baby. Boy, boy, what they mean? <laughs> nigga, act what like act saying? like niggas when wearing that Fubu jersey. Yeah. Uh, fuck you talking about? Uh, act y'all act y'all like niggas. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yes, I'm Fubu paid the way, man. Work? Okay, so if it's only word of mouth, how do a regular civilian like me like get get access to this? Do people like me? Word of mouth, spreading that shit. Like the me. plug. Go ahead, spread they bitch. Hey, hey, they did amazing. Y'all know, y'all know, my, y'all know my mouth big as a bitch. The y'all know my big as hell. I'm telling everybody what else the fuck I done seen. I'm seeing. She said the plug. I, she, she said people like me. Like, like she said like oh, me. Oh, me. Oh. What was I thinking? Yeah, Duh. once I drop this link, it's gonna be accessible for everybody to kind of like be able to find their platforms, be able to find their social medias, and kind of know where their music is. Everyone that I that I kind of talked to that night, we have been doing it for ten plus years. Like yes. Homebody, how you get invited? The people like you, right? I'm trying to figure out like, what, I who the fuck know. got you out the, the house at, you? to get she you to go to this place. How you got right? Like damn, a plug. Okay, so listen, 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 listen. I went to show some support or whatever, and I was there, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds, it's, if, it, if it looks like a lie, if it sounds like a lie. It's a lie. Translation, a nigga. <laughs> a nigga. Yeah. 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 Okay, I didn't catch it. It happened. Yeah. Happened to be. Oh, she's she looking at red you like that's like, like you red did. flag. I said, it said, I told you. I wouldn't say a nigga. Yeah. I no, I was going to support the people. I am a person of the Plus, people. Craig is a clown. Is Craig, is a clown. <laughs> Craig is a clown. Craig is a clown. I'm right intrigued. Now. I want to go. He said, I would like to go. Y'all know I'm quick to be like, I'm You read that side really hard. I'm like, yeah, get that shit, get that shit, get that shit, get that shit. Yeah, I was on my song too. Y'all know that's a big thing. Myself. Give me some. Man, I'm not going nowhere by myself, and I'm with myself. Well, two girls agree with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I went, I went to get drunk, but I was outside. Craig has the best like side comments. Craig, shut your ass up. Craig, shut your ass up. Got the red cuts. All right. Hey, you got okay. So next time we go, next time you go to this bitch, you got to invite us because I really want to go. Like we, like we are both like all of us technically are artists in a sense. We would love to like perform or even be a part of this to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, that ass. Honestly, they made me want to get artists. back into that shit. Yeah. Give me, give me some. Yeah, we all yes. artists. Yes. Okay, they made me want to get back into that I'm shit. Claiming, I'm claiming. I'm, cla- I'm claiming. What's for you? You heard him talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speak that shit. No, no fact, fact, fact. Y'all can, y'all, y'all though, almost. Though, I'm pretty yes. sure y'all can go ahead. You know, be up on that tour and get the showing y'all talents and getting the be out the. Oh, hey, yeah. get y'all, get y'all rocked I'll be on there with a mood yeah, game vibes like a motherfucker, yeah, like, um, yeah, yeah. off the dome. Yeah. Let me get you something off the dome. Bro. Right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. That's what's up, though. I, I, you got to tell us next time. Yes, I'm going to. No, I, no bullshit. No, I'm dead. I try to come with you. No like, bullshit. Do okay. people like me? Yeah, I can't believe your ass. He said, well, definitely will. Hell yeah. Because I'm, we, 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 we trying to. Anytime I can perform, trying to red flag that red flag, flag talent, it up bro, too. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get trying out. To bro, no, no, that ass my lame ass went like that was crazy. Because you know trying I'm trying to red flag it up too. Shit. Okay, so trying anyway. to be a thing in my fucking place. Anyway, so we have, a, we, have a special, we have a special guest. We have a special guest. Thank you, Heaven, for that. I really appreciate that. That was part of the for that four one four hunger. Please keep us updated. Yeah, I'm gonna tag all of their social medias in at the end of this episode. I'm gonna put them in the comments section and put it to the board so we can be able to find their platforms and shit like that. Be able to listen to their dope ass music. Okay, bet. We look forward to hearing from you guys and hopefully we can get you on the complex sometime and you know interview. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Have a conversation with you guys. But well, we do have a special guest here today, the the man with the plan here, Mr. Businessman Corey here. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, indeed. Corey, tell us a little bit about yourself and about your brand. You know. Well, um, you know, so I was born in Milwaukee, been here my whole life. Um, was in and out of MPS, then went to Menominee Falls. Now I do security, did that for like the bus system, you know, city bus uh, for like three years. That shit crap. Uh, now I'm the security Actually. supervisor for the intermodal station downtown, like the Amtrak and uh, nice. Greyhound. So I do that. But on the side, you know, I'm doing Purple Tag. Um, okay. Me and one of my guys that I worked with at Transit, um, doing security with, we started it together. Well, I actually kind of started and brought him in on it. Um, I felt like, you know, bringing somebody else in besides myself would make it so I couldn't give up as easy on something um, and make it bigger than yourself. You know, then you got right. Like, That's smart. The Shit first bigger time, than Nino Brown. I feel. Yeah, because the first time I tried to do it actually in like at eighteen, as and kind of made it like a 
more of a skateboarding like clothing company yeah. um but then like i kind of gave up on it i didn't know enough at the time about entrepreneurial stuff in general you know what I mean? or how to run a business uh, like. so like you know i did one run of shirts and then like people weren't messing with it too much so i just stopped but then like my friends like kept like always mentioning like bro you should really start doing that again and stuff and then she mentioned i should like do it again too so i got re-inspired to just start creating it, designing again and everything so then we dropped a first uh, set of hats, and that's kind of when I brought my guy in, and then together we expanded it. So we're on um, Instagram and Facebook is Purple Tag Official for both of them. You know, people can go on there and see all of our clothing we do have out so far. We have two shirts, and um, well, actually, so we're in between drops right now. We have a shirt and a hat out already, but then okay. we're working on our second shirt. Our screen printer has been. I don't know, with all this, like, backup supply distribution, right. shit, like, we've been hit pretty hard with it right now. So we've been waiting for, like, three months on an order currently. So wow. in the three meantime, months? I've kind of, yeah, so right now I've kind of even gone personally into just painting shoes, like Air Forces right now. Uh, you, so, you, you do custom design, too. Hey. Okay, uh, correct. That's because I couldn't play games. I couldn't play games. I'm working you, on a pair for her right now. I'm trying so, to make, like, a kind of cool colored theme we agreed to okay. but it ended up kind of going more like snowy theme um you know like kind of like i don't know we'll see when she's when she's done how she's he's talking. a very talented artist really so we're gonna drop my ones off Right, I was gonna say. I was gonna say like, so do you, you do design your own art, your own like logo for the purple? No. Yeah. So for purple tag, well, originally when I designed it as a skate uh, streetwear brand, kind of, it had like drug influences in it, like lean and weed <laughs> and shit, you know. So like, fucking the great real came, nigga uh, shit. Yeah. Drop, drop the coolest brand for the real for nigga the shit. Yes. I was definitely <laughs> nigga shit. At the time, I was I like definitely that. a hype. That was right around like ASAP Rocky came out of shit. Like I was. Trying to lean a little bit heavy at the time, so I, I was can. like, I don't know, like get you. I like made that the kind of brand like with, like the theme lean. with it because I'm like, because the yeah. there is another dude the too. Lean ain't crazy. Crazy. Get you. Yeah, I'm it's, sorry, it's I'm sorry. Slow. <laughs> I don't even have an MJ. I don't even have a conversation. I just, no, let me TV. let me just say because I love I love when 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 brands like this and stories like this come from a real place. <laughs> yeah. You know, because some people get on here and try to fake the funk and shit, just, you know what I mean? Or just in general, just, just, you know, like, you know, I, I thought about it and, you know, it just happened to just come up. And my uh. nigga said, no, nah, that shit lean and weed. <laughs> right, right. Real right. nigga shit. That's what I said. I can, I can, I can, I can respect with, that. I can, I can respect that. I can, I can, you know, I but can. I think that probably was part of the reason people weren't fucking with the first time like no not everyone's trying to just buy like like the first shirts we did like i did it was just literally like said perp on them and then i had like um like train well the text kind of did like an opaque like you could see the cush behind it and then the lettering over it basically but so like i mean only people that smoke they're gonna want to buy that shirt at the end of the day right so right. this time when i re kind of launched it i didn't want it to just be like drug related i didn't want it to even be like skateboarding related necessarily i just wanted to be overall streetwear kind of and just Kind of whatever i'm trying to design at the time mm -hmm. but like just innovate like I, I wanted to do like i'm kind of following like a lot of other like artists on um instagram and stuff that are pushing fashion out of new york and different right. things and like okay they might only have thirty thousand followers and they're like their stuff gets shared by you know a page with like two million followers but it's like this dude like sometimes they only have three thousand followers or something you'll never find out about this person but they're doing like crazy things with like jeans or something like cutting like yeah. you know all these strands around them and making stuff you've never right. seen before so that's kind of what was like inspiring me to make purple take this time like a, an original like thing not try to bite anything just kind of do our own thing yeah and, you know and like create whatever you know vision we're trying to do with it like as we grow um but obviously it is all like inspired by hustle in some ways like okay i feel like you know a lot okay. of our imagery and stuff kind of applies to that but the grapes though i felt was still cool as like a good way to like i don't know involve everyone in it like it, you know it, it was already like right. at the time like supposed to be about weed and lean but now it's just like you could still apply it to other things and make it more friendly right. approach to it i guess i think okay. no 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 bullshit though. I, like I think that's that's hella fucking dope though just to even just to even make it a more neutral 
you know, kind of make it even more neutral. I feel, like a I neutral feel that way. Ground, like. Something I really respect about that, like, it's so easy to get discouraged when you're an entrepreneur. Like, those first round of shirts, like, people really give up on their dreams because people didn't buy into it right away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you have to really have that faith in yourself that you're going to keep selling that shit. Like, what you say? Re inspired? It's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's re inspired. That's, 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 that's the word like, of the we day. Came back at it, I, I, like kind of like years later, calls, they came back Sesame to like, okay, Street, cool. Now Sesame this, like, Street can have a word of the day. The complex can have a word of the day, and the word of the day is re re inspired. No lie, I've watched that since re inspired is the word of the day. I was just talking about that shit. Jesus, that's my you mental. You remember word of the day on Sesame Street? You remember that shit? You remember it? That's re inspired. Just talking about Sesame Street. Cookie monster. Y'all know Elmo got a new theme song? Wait, what? Yes, yeah, a new this theme song. This nigga got more songs no than a little bit. No, 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 no. It's no longer that. It's like Elmo's world. And he get the this dude, dude, he get the creep walking. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Bro, I've seen that video of him. Bro, yeah, like, the niggas dancing. What are y'all playing right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, Urban. Uh, I like that. Gunna made his new theme song. No, but no, uh, all joking aside, man, like I I I dig it. I dig just the neutral ground because just even me, like sometimes I just go and like a shirt just because I like a shirt, you know what I mean? Don't have to mean nothing, don't have to be nothing. I think that's probably the shit, the smartest shit. Why did not think of that? <laughs> you know what I mean? And the thing is too though, I noticed like during this whole COVID thing, like we started like towards the tail end of it, I guess, in some ways, because stuff had already started to open up, you know, March of 2021, like it's not the same as 2020. Mm -hmm. But like right. during all of 2020, I was looking at all these people going into business for themselves, you know, especially like a lot of like black owned stuff too. But I'm also noticing like the ones that aren't going to last because their designs are simple. And right now it's just that a lot of people had money to kind of like throw around and like it, we're all throwing it around to each other though. Yeah. Like right. it's not like corporations are helping us get it's, get right. money. Small on business. So eventually somebody's not going to have the money to throw around anymore. And like the only ones that are going to have like that are going to like I feel like stay long term are going to be the ones that everyone really like has value behind, you know? Like the ones that you see like dang, that inspired me. Like a lot of the businesses in this building even, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you could tell right. like okay, you can see what they're doing. See but I can kind of follow that and like get some success by molding, you know, after that. Mm -hmm. And right. like You'll, I don't know. I just noticed so many popped up during 2020. That's like, okay, don't automatically try to follow exactly what everyone's doing though, because they're all like, a lot of them were just screen printing copyrighted designs and stuff off Nike even and shit. And people are buying it because it's low and stuff. But eventually, like, you know, people are going to be like, what? Like, Nike either is going to come for them or somebody else is right. like, I don't want to get like fake shit. Like, they yeah. find out they're pushing fake shit. At the end of the day yeah. But you. Okay, no, but so do you feel like you just being just far as just originality, like do you feel like that was more so the how can I put this? That was more so like the getting over the hump was more so your originality than following the trend. Like following just, you know, because I seen like maybe a lot of shirts that maybe you see the Bark Sense and that got weed or a drink or something on there, or like, you know, like you said with the weed and lean, do you feel like when you made that transition to make it a more neutral ground, do you feel like that was like getting over the hump? Like it made no. a difference? No, just because it's a constant like battle. I feel like fashion has so much overhead in the first place. It's like I get I like to go through so many different like companies to get like all the pieces to put our stuff together like in a way like because I don't want to just put out like a, a basic ass shirt. That's just a, like a, a little pain shirt with a screen printed design with it, right so like like i kind of want like the mitchell and ness route like i got like i made a custom patch got embroidered patches i sew them onto the shirt myself then get the shirt screen printed you know too so like i'm there's steps to it i don't want to put out bullshit levels so, to that shit and then like now i'm going to be stitching like purple actual tags into the back of the shirt like as we go like the quality is going to increase because i want people to realize like we're trying to like actually develop like value and get more money like you know as we're doing it but actually like give you something that like we don't just expect you to buy into like we want you to buy into it because you like like it you know it's legit right like, and i feel like that's the only like once you have that established though like it's not like you just have to stay true to that i feel like but no matter what there's a lot of setbacks like with these like i said these distributors all this stuff right now with supply chain issues and stuff but 
you know, that's this year. Next year could be different things. You know, like what's hot could just change, you know, and you have to stay. Right. Like, that's why I feel like if you're trying to copy shit, you're always going to be behind the trend. Mm. Like, you want to be like, so, yeah, you have facts. to be ahead of it to make the money. Like, so, so yeah, in like, in another word, create your own dream, create a trend. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, we, I think we were just watching create, or something. Sure. You said you don't follow the market, you make the market. You know yeah. I mean? like, create the market. Like, you see the market, then you make your own. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, because otherwise, like, even shit with like people are just trying to like, crypto you know everyone's talking about that now it's the hot thing and stuff like but a lot of people have made all their millions on it like shit they we're finding out about it now it's too late a little bit that's it's what i'm saying yes. <laughs> it's still right. time to make the can i ask y'all a question did y'all see shit are y'all into crypto yeah, sh- Shiba, I, yes did, are you do you have that i have five dollars in that one but i didn't want to like throw down on that one okay. i got like i have twelve hundred dollars in ethereum though. bro okay so i had shiv shiva when it first was like fucking june June or May, I had Super to wash it. So you actually made a come up, huh? Comfortable. Nice. You're annoying. Go ahead. My black and best for queen. Comfortable. My friend, uh, one of my friends, what did he invest in that he just came up super heavy on? It wasn't, it wasn't the crypto. Actually, it might have been. I Dogecoin? Think it's, or it could no, have been like mini Doge. It wasn't crypto. It could have been mini Dogecoin. Uh, no, I think it was a recent company. Like a yeah. stock, but anyways, he put he put so he just sold a, a rental property that he had, like mm-hmm. his, his first house. There. Bro, he doesn't care. He's a brags about the shit too. Like he he's happy to have these this money right now. He made forty thousand because it's a seller's market on houses right now. So he profited right. selling his house. So he was, I guess had thought twenty thousand was I could gamble with and threw it on a stock or whatever, and it jumped like at the morning or whatever, and he got $40,000 return off of it. So he made 40,000 profit. Mm, man, I'm well, telling you. On top of the 20 he already had, that's a total the 20, 60. yeah, so 60 something, pulled it off, you know, pulled it all out, he got 40 up. I mean, he's gonna have to pay some taxes shopping, on man. tax season, but yeah. dog did it. Well, well, I mean, what's the deal? Like, put me what's on. Take yourself for 40,000. In the beginning, <laughs> I, would, I would say, right now, it's so irritated yeah. for me. Yeah, I want 40 G. I definitely I did. My <laughs> side, I did. I did. I did. I I did. I I did. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something I want to say that I know. Do you, hold on, pause. Sheba, whatever. Anyway, do y'all watch Shark Tank? I don't. Do it, have any of you I have, Shark Tank? I have watched. watched, watched or, I have. I have watched it. I have Show. watched. Yeah, I have watched, watched yeah. my watch few share episodes. I have watched a few share of my episodes. <laughs> of Shark Tank. You know what though, Shark Tank, low key, is okay. Like with like business Can I with finish me. My, point, my bad. Please, Go sir. ahead. My oh, my bad. Serious. He Can said, I can't remember he that? Said, pin it. He said, I'm a pin. Thank I'm you. a pin. It. Thank you. So, something I noticed about entrepreneurs, okay, on Shark Tank, they is not afraid to ask for their price. In real life, people are afraid to ask for their fucking price. You won't make no money trying to be reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to be, like give your shit away. You know what I'm saying? You have, to pay, you have to ask for your goddamn worth or you will be behind. You know what I'm saying? Time. Yeah. You're gonna be making no money investing all your time and quality into a into something you believe in, but you letting other people deter you away or or this stigmatize, you know what I'm saying? Like to make it, you know what I'm saying? Walmart is already a trillion dollar fucking company. Like they can afford they don't to have five ninety nine. They don't shirts. bargain with folks about they know price. Like, like watermelon on, price. Like, you need to get your, you know what I'm saying? Get your something. Be from your price. Make on, the market. Man, Black owned businesses be scared to ask for a goddamn price. You know what I'm saying? I do see the other way around. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't even gonna fault you for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, because that's what you feel you're worth, and people gonna pay for that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's like, facts. Stop playing. Like, well, we I, want well, another I wheel. To pay for that shit. Remember your pen. Release it. Craig, it's your time for your pen. He said, <laughs> <laughs> "It's just time for your. It's just time for your pen." <laughs> he said, "And a nigga like me make another pen." So check. It. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so I, I definitely, I definitely feel that, and I feel like shit. You just pay for what you want. Yeah, that's right. Cause, Cause I feel like as the older I got, yeah. it was more so kind of like when I was younger, quantity over quality. Yeah, and it's like now it's quality over quantity. That's and, and I feel like definitely like if you stick to your shit and stick to your guns, like in the end, 
that it will, you know, it will prosper. Yeah. Like for real, for real. I yeah. definitely I think you should definitely stick with it. Like yeah. definitely, definitely should. I agree. It, on, I agree on that one too. And I will say, even as like you move, you know, like have your setbacks and stuff like this, what like getting a chance to come on a show like this, you know, and like talk about it, you know, it's cool. Like so it's not like you're never like quitting on your shit, but it's like you don't always like it's like ebbs and flows, though, you know. Yeah. Like you have you continue like, learning about some shit, you know, you ain't just getting in the when you learn about anything or get good at anything, you just wasn't good at it at first. No, it's a practice. I mean. it's a time. Like, you know, you might have been smart. okay at it, or you know, but yeah. you you take them necessary steps because you failed, you know, a hundred times before you get that one. But I found yeah, a that one's so worth it. Bro, know? that's how I feel on a personal level. It took me like seventeen years to get this fine. Seventeen years to get this, huh? This fine. Like I had to work on it. Seventeen, <laughs> baby, you twenty. What? What were you doing? I was like, well, damn, what were we doing for the rest of the, for the, the other five? I was just chilling. The five years? She said, oh, now, now I'm on it. Now I'm on it. What's playing? Get now, your motherfucking Now ass. you just feel like you have what you have what it takes. Now I'm done. Now I'm about to come snatch everybody's souls. I, I want to know what made her start thinking that five. You know what? I'm not all that. You know what I'm saying? And Kendra brought in my nigga. I think it was a low key because, like, who there was it? no reason. Who did it? My brother had knocked my tooth out with a, with a football, and I had a gap. And too early in life, so I was just so it was. I was damn. Like, That's fucked up. Damn. Which brother? It was the second one and the first one. Like they was together, they was playing with each other, and I was trying to catch the ball. And I said, "I got it, I got it." Boosh, boosh. Well, it looks like you once again you're in the way, and shouldn't have been in the way. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of something a story in first season where you were in the way, and you wow. shouldn't have been in the way. It just sounded like you're a lot of your life you were in the way, and you shouldn't have been in the don't way. Bring <laughs> up, don't no, bring up yes, the story, yes. please. Don't bring up the story. Don't bring up. 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 I got it. You finna stop. You finna stop. Why I'm, not, I'm not having no more. My I'm question good. is, why are you here? I, I, why are you here? I'm done having it. I'm why not giving it. You made me look for answer my card just in case. You Bro. Made me freak out. Yes. You made me freak out. Bro, to this day, mama still act like she won't give me nothing. Like, I, I will bring it up and she still won't give me nothing. Like, it's cool. I wouldn't either. I love <laughs> I you. Tell. I love I you, mama. I'm mad. That's a reason. Y'all are retarded, dude. I have time. You shouldn't have told her you guys. She my niggas down. She my niggas down. Wow. Wait a minute, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. Yeah, I just want to just point out one thing I remember about point it out, please, please. when when you look back. <laughs> when, <laughs> point it out, please. When you look back like that, and you, you see nothing, see nothing but the sea. You see nothing but the sea. In your heart of hearts, it said, put this motherfucker in reverse. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You still I just, move. I just wanna. I just wanna it say. It was the pump fake for me. <laughs> <laughs> what the motherfucking guy. Hey, you know what? It was the blind faith for me. And you know was, what? <laughs> Anybody that doesn't see where they're going and still decides to go. That's a, that's. A, I led by faith. That's that's a red. That's red flagging right there. Ah. That is that is red flagging. Ah. Right this there. She said, "I saw her." <laughs> Bye. Let's, let's run into the next thing. Let's run into the next thing. I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this shit. I don't have time for no, this shit. Mama, no, if you see this, don't cuss okay, me out. But no, okay. But Corey, before, before okay. we get into that, you know, no, nah, Mr. Corey, for real, for real. I, I definitely I definitely want to say, let That's me amazing. please calm it down. I'm sorry. As you can see, it's a red flag going on around here. Y'all are are please say, but no, <laughs> honestly, man. I, I appreciate the, the wisdom. And before we end, does anybody have just any more questions for him? Because I believe he gave me a very uh, informational. You an informational person. Yeah, like, yeah bro. As, as I said, like, the man real, with the plan. Very information. I got a chance to meet him um, at my significant other's house. And we had a, like, I met him before that, but we had a good conversation at the house. And I got a chance to really learn about you. And so, and I was like, this is the man with a plan. This is, you know, I like that, you know. I like a man that has a that has a business plan that actually want, has something going for themselves and know what they want. You know what I mean? That's somebody that you can actually say, this is somebody I want to be around, a friend or whatever it is, an acquaintance, whatever you want to be. You want to be in that atmosphere because you want to be around people that are actually doing stuff with themselves. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I can tell that you're really trying to push yourself to be the best version of yourself and, you know, make the millions. And that's respect. Appreciate you know what I mean? Respect. Dance to make your dance. Dance to make your dance. And, and, so, in, honor, and in honor of that respect, the first time <laughs> on the complex, we are a complex and a podcast of many things. Y'all, I, I want to say this is the first being the complex, the first time on the complex, we changed to somebody race. 
Goodbye, white. Hello, light skin. My boy Corey is in the okay. motherfucking oh, video oh, complex. Hey, I didn't agree on that one, so Corey, my boy, my boy is light skin turned light skin today. Come on, man. What, what are Come on. And I have, I have to use it. I have to use it. I had to. I knew he was going to use it. He just makes me. He just makes me. I knew he was going to do that. I was on for it. Craig brings another part of me out. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Craig brings another part of me out. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Craig brings another part of me out. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. 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 Yeah, y'all. Complex. Yeah, y'all. Y'all get your MCU universe looking masses out of here. Right. What the I'm feeling the mask. You see Shay like this? Yeah. Like this. <laughs> she said, "You're gonna be Iron Man. I'm gonna snap my fingers and delete the rest of the people fucking for Iron Man America right now." Doctor Strange and shit. Look at that. She's right. Right. What the what fuck? Y'all say? I will say one thing before we do finish. Um, move on. I was gonna say, Corey, where can we like find your brand? Can you like give us give us like your yeah yeah? So like I said, um, Instagram and Facebook, we're on there as Purple Tag Official. Okay. Um, just all you know, one word thing. Um, and then we do have a website, Purple Tag official.com okay um i was trying to think if it was just purple you know they charge for that we are current yeah so we did currently um our website's currently down right now um because with our next order not being out it was not worth having it up currently um but both of our socials are still active and we're trying to build those every day okay so we're trying to catch any of our work you know um those are the spots to do it on i mean our website has all the same information so pop-up um, shot coming soon yeah we hey, want to do that. That's awesome a, man that's one of the plans we hope to do here soon um and then we already have an agreement to get some of our shirts in at the travel mart down at the intermodal station i know like the owner of it so he's cool and he actually has another location too and then so one of the things that we're working on after that is like trying to talk to different places like trusted kicks and all the boutiques around and getting it into places all goods stuff like that like Ooh, go ahead, so, man. Bro. Man, and, and also and also look into sherman phoenix because sherman phoenix will definitely still do a pop-up shot with you and that definitely yeah, they have and now it definitely be a once, place. A, once a yeah, month yeah that'd be awesome that'd be awesome Yes, yeah, so definitely. This Bring is a good up. location too so this is we've already considered you know something around here so i'll have to See who to talk to, I guess. And I'm sure you guys probably know. So. Yeah, man. man. Well, we well give a round of applause man. for our special yeah. guest. Hey. Because he's awesome, man. Thank you. Right. Yeah. We got to initiate it today. Yeah. 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 And that's crazy because Craig, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a little bit fake because I, I just feel like Craig can see you a thousand and one times. Now he know about you. Like, that's yeah, my life. skin and brother. Bro, no, right? First, first, first of all, first of all. Me and this nigga always been cool. Be bonding, go ahead. What are you talking about? Me and this nigga always been cool. If we don't get your... Wait, I just... Real quick, though, I should probably say, my my guy, also co-owner on this, I didn't even name drop him once on here, and I don't want to take all the credit for my brand and shit. That would be wrong. Oh, yes. Um, His name is Fonz, and his his handle is I'm the Fonz. On Instagram, so um, El bro, Fonzo. he that person. Like, yeah. like Fonz, Fonz, oh, yeah, Fonz, 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 Fonz. Fonz. Hey man, shout out, shout out, Fonz, shout, out Fonz, shout, shout out to Fonz, shout out to Fonz, shout out to Fonz on the purple tag. But yeah, he's, purple tag he's my guy, and he's, he's cool. If, Go ahead, baby, uh, man. Breaking it down, honestly, he's better on the sales end of things, and I'm okay. better on the maybe like design. Um, or just like kind of, I had like you know the initial creation part of it going. Oh, so that's just kind of how we balance it out, like so far. But we all we obviously work together on everything. But if I didn't have him, like our sales probably wouldn't even have been at like what they're at. Like he's he's definitely helped me like grow it. And I was I'm, purple tag probably would have already been gave up on if I wasn't doing it with him. So that's what's up, man. Hey hey, replicate the for Fonz, man. All right, fine. You, you think Craig got the side remarks? I'm gonna slap heaven in the goddamn head. What, what, like what did she didn't do? What she didn't do? She said, "Oh, I know this guy. This is my cousin." Everybody. Hey, I'm fucking playing. I spent two minutes like, on my daddy's side. She's she like, my daddy's side. My daddy's side. That's daddy a real side. flag right yeah, there. Damn, 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 dam
I'm the only red flag, nigga. First of all, hey, listen, I know, I know, listen, I I couldn't, I didn't have the time to go get no black doogies, but I got a black tea for this occasion. So y'all know it's real. Red flagging in this motherfucker today. Craig is a fucking we red flagging in this motherfucker today. And, and let him point out. Our, I mean, point out these red. I mean, he's he's. Going I'm a, I'm a lot. I'm a like a personal red flag. It's cool. You said I'm a personal. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Does that mean that you toxic? <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I, you I, toxic? Red flag. I, I red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. I mixed the perfect drink, baby. I mixed the perfect drink, baby. You know what I'm red flag. I, I know how to make a shot. I know how to make a. I know how to make a drink, but I'm talking about whatever, whatever yeah, recipe it is. Give me that recipe. I'm gonna make it perfect. Clear. Heavy cream. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, listen Good. to the lyrics. He said, "Listen to what he spit." That I, nigga knew what he I was speak doing. Speak with integrity, yeah. and yeah. what I say is intentional. Yeah. I said what he said. I said what I said. All right, here we go. Well, we're going on. We're moving on. 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 We're moving on. On. Oh yeah, it's your it's your it's your game. It's your world. It's your world. It's your world. It's your world. We living in it. Yeah, it's your life. Give me some. Give me some. Okay. Bring me in. Bring me in. Bring me in. Trying to build up to like people say. Let me see what I can. A little razzle dazzle. Give her a little razzle dazzle. Oh my. Every, every okay, every we gonna work on that. On you. <laughs> you, just be, you be coming doing some shit like that. You gonna get the air buzzer. Okay. <laughs> we'll work. we we'll work on that. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let me, oh, see, thank, get, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Turn it All up, right. Baby. Let's go. This this is right. European vibes, but it's okay. Mario Kart's, but it's cool. Uh, 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 <laughs> we'll do it one more time. Oh, that's a lot of skill. Okay, well. Okay. I'm heaven. Can I be heaven in this? I want to be heaven. Okay, okay, okay. Pet Sorcerer has presented the game. First off, sidebar. The Hat Sorcerer has to be true to her heart. I did not, I did not <laughs> prepare these notes today, but they fall under the hearts, hat sorcerers qualification. It yeah. fit, it fit into my resume. I said, you know what? Let's share the bowl. You know what I'm saying? We can all be sorcerers. You yes, know, we yeah, all have the power. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know. I would know? say all of us, but yeah, sure. Yeah, not all of us. Right? <laughs> you put that yeah, they talking about us. <laughs> They talk about oh, it. But I will say so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will say something. They talk about it. Okay. Hey, Katie. Do the guests get to go first? Do the guests get to go first? You know what? That's a great idea. The That's guests get to go first. The guests, yes. I knew that was going to get pulled on the yeah, side. Yeah, go ahead. The guests. You should take that space. You talk about Chris. It's a long ass one. Give your best Jay Z. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Wow. Gotta, oh, gotta damn. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, the sorcerer did not give the rules. Take a shot. 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 Sorcerer, take a shot. Sorcerer? You, 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 did, you did not give the rules. You gotta explain the rules. You did not get the rules. I fucked up too, though. So. I, was, I was just going to say that um, all of you don't you don't read any of them out loud. Only read you. Only ones you read out loud is the one that says two player and and three players. Only going to be two of those in there. Okay. Everything else you read to yourself, and then you have to let the guess. Yes. Everybody guess. You got to guess it. Okay, we'll do it again. Do it again. My bad, y'all. Nah, that was easy. That was a decent one, too. It was. It was. was. Unfortunately, it wasn't going to be for you, buddy. (laughs) All right. Heaven is cheating. (laughs) Always. Always. Look at my shit. I'll be defending you. I'll be defending you. (laughs) Okay. It's It's that red flag. It's 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 that red flag. But then, like, I'm going to just say it. No, no, no. Uh-huh, I'm that nigga. She'll let you know if it's if it's a, a group game or it's one on one person. Oh okay, God. you explain your answer. You don't have to give yeah. the delivery. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Well, 
between dating someone that has halitosis or dating someone that has herpes. Oh, okay, 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 pick, okay. So would you rather? That's what you do. Too. I don't know what halitosis is. Like. So halitosis. That's that. That's that. That's, <laughs> that's that. Like halitosis. no matter. Like you can't get rid of it. Like you can't. Like, like it's it's, 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 like it's I know somebody breath. like that for real. Like there's no so, way to get rid so, of it. So read it. You would think you would think you would think that the automatic. The automatic answer would be herpes, but if you know what halitosis is, it's just kind of up in there. Look at yeah. okay, okay, so okay, 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 so so that one we, we did we did online. So the, the, one, the, yeah. would you rather date someone that has halitosis or date someone who has herpes? Pick one and tell us why. Or drink. So that so, one. So these are. Uh, would you rather? And I have put some. Would you rather's in there because these are quite interesting, and I would love to see people's opinions on them. So. Halitosis, like they said, is where that breath is. No matter what the fuck they do, no matter how much they brush, how much gum they eat, seen them brush their that, teeth. I mean, you've seen them brush their teeth, and, and it's, it's like it's it like better. a medical issue. This bitch is bad. It's a medical, it's a right. medical issue. Bad. In, both, in both cases, they gotta be bad. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. picking the herpes. Yeah. Right? So would you rather kiss some hot ass breath every day? No matter how much you or would you just go ahead and hit some herpes? Pause, herpes. pause, 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 pause. pause, 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 pause. Right, but, um, Can I say something real quick before you get your answer? Yeah. First off. Have some knowledge, people. Herpes is not always the worst case scenario that is branded to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you only can transfer oh, herpes close. when you having an outbreak. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like bro, you know hell. Cold sore is herpes. You what did you say? Like it's, like it's a form of herpes. Yeah, I'm you know talking about the pussy herpes. Right. All right, we are. But it's still wait, you're wait, not gonna need... get sick all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like you still live with somebody. Take a for me. Man, light. Not light's not light. I'm not talking about the light one. I'm talking about the heavy one. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be honest though. There's no way you, if you knew somebody had this shit going into it, that you would have never probably started dating them. But if you started, the shit was going smooth and like you had to, like you're hypothetically one's got one of these. Damn, they're both could be fucked in a way. Like, come on, come on. I guess I would say herpes if it was gonna be committed relationship. Cause then it's like, what the fuck do I give a fuck if I got herpes? We're both gonna have herpes together, but I am with a bad bitch for the rest of my life. Then I'm okay. choosing herpes. Okay. And we can have herpes together. But we can Okay. But so I just want to point this uh, out. He said, hey, this, this ah! having stank breath is a fucking disease. But the fact that having, she has herpes. I'm gonna say having stank breath. I'm like, having having. 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 Hey, can having. I get this eye booger or you oh, want to get shit. it? Uh, I'm Shay, sorry. Shay Taj said, hey. Shout out to Taj. Hey Taj. Shout out to Taj. So, so you, so you picking herpes? If I knew it could be a committed thing, then I said. But she, then again, I'm saying herpes probably means she cheated in the past or some shit. Like, cause how did you? That's I, not true though. Cause anybody could get it. So, 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 it, so it's. Y'all really, want to be? What you gonna do? I'm trying to think. I, I need a, I need a clear one. I, I'm gonna be coming. Clear. Clear. Right. clear. Do a shot, my nigga. Cause I do a shot. You need a clear one. You got to pick one. So, Rick, would you rather? I think we're far enough along. Ain't there medications and shit? Ah, uh, he's thinking the same. He really trying to figure it out. I think herpes is the choice, bro. I don't know about bad breath all 24 7, bro. I can even, bro, you talking next to me and shit? Like, <laughs> I just want to let motherfuckers <laughs> know. <laughs> With herpes. First of all, listen, let's 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 clear this I, shit out the way. I, I Do you, and, and that just goes to show that hygiene is something serious. Important. And if you don't have it, look here, that can that make a nigga mad. There is medication that suppresses herpes. To a point where it's not even transferable, but you can't wow. smell it. Wow! Right? You can't smell it, so I, I would, I would. Sign but, it yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. I mean, but I mean, but like for real though, because you know, <laughs> my nigga said herpes. Herpes okay. your answer. Hey, herpes. And- <laughs> yeah, because if you think about it, when you bro, said all that, I'm saying herpes. On <laughs> okay, we have. Okay, so we have. So what, what was your answer? What was the answer? Herpes. So you gotta have herpes. 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 And you real herpes. nigga shit. That's this real thing. nigga shit. Okay. So first of all, okay. I wanna I wanna let nigga know this the realest the realest shit this nigga that said being light skinned. Bro, this nigga being light skinned, nigga. <laughs> On the show, on the complex, the real so, shit this nigga just said being light skinned on the show. Nah, gonna say, I just want to show we nah, take a racist you, on the show. He said show. you can't smell it. Yeah, you can't. Well, I'm. Okay. Man, look here. I well, guess. Because that would be one thing if you could give it, like, the bad breath is like, okay, from three to six or some shit. You know, that's when it's happening. He said part time, but now this shit full time, 24 7. Damn. Damn. That's no matter I, what. And don't forget that smells are a mistake. 
nostalgia can create a, like a nostalgia too. So you stuck with that for the rest of your it's you mentally. Be fucking Damn. Yeah. So okay, okay, okay. Quick question you before we move on. Can you get a mute? Can you get like a mute to the smoke? Can you be like, I don't even smoke no, anymore. No, it ain't because because I'm gonna tell you why. It's not like it's not. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you why. It's not like a. It's not like a. It's not like a rule, bro. Listen, when you when you when you I remember vividly one day I was at church and we had to pray. First of all, my mama was one of them people. Where we went to church, Bible study, choir rehearsal, Sundays and shit, and all the time, every time. So one day, bro, I got matched up with this motherfucker, bro. I'm talking about this nigga. This nigga breath smell horrible. Jesus. I'm talking about and in, 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 in church. Yes. And your breath stinking. Yes. That's the worst type of fucking shit because I gotta focus on God. Mm. And I and I'm trying not to focus on this nigga. And he whispering. Oh, uh, you realize, you realize, he's, 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 he's a little bit, he's a little bit, and he like says, I, it was a point, I just stopped praying. This motherfucker, the, the pastor saying, don't stop, keep praying. I said, I can't go no motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker said, don't like, stop, keep going. going. I said, I can't do this shit no more. You realize that shit happened when I was 10 years old. Damn. Burn. I ain't forgot that shit since, wow. and I ain't forgot that smell since. Yeah, same here. And, and that's what I'm saying. You you don't never forget that shit. That's that I shit had that stick it. with you. That's a distinctive smell. Something that's, that's distinctive. Saying. I like that. You ever have, like, I had to sing with somebody. Sent. I had to sing somebody with a choir. With that, like what? like no bullshit. A sit. You ever had some you like said, spoke with somebody like with a scent and, and, and you can't get rid of that scent? That I'll be honest, I've only had it like that's what very it like rarely, but I know what you're talking about. Like it was just like I knew to get away from that person on quick like type shit because I just smelled it. I'm like, this couldn't be like a you do yeah. like roach no. roach spray <laughs> to me triggers me. Like if I smell roach spray, it triggers me right back to childhood to where roach we, spray? we needed roach spray. Like he, in my life, said, we needed roach spray. That shit was traumatic. You automatically so I smell that shit. I go right back to that shit. Like oh shit, hey, that's the worst my life. So he, about, if you meet a, if you meet a woman, you walk in her house, you smell like roach spray. You know, oh shit, it's over. <laughs> it's literally, it's over. He said, no. I'm not putting my clothes in this flow. No. I'm putting my fuck you with my pants on. Right. I remember having to, come, I had to come home and I had to put bags outside, and she got stolen because I was put it outside. So roaches, my mother don't bring that shit in the house, kind of thing. I was like, well, hey, gotta get well, dressed outside. 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 Gotta get outside. Get outside. Well, damn, I don't want you to bring the roaches home, so I stay That's over there. Right. Fucking with the right ass home. Fucking with the right ass bitches. Wow. I was a kid then, so yeah. He said, and the bitches, oh, and the bitches like be on it too. They act like you ain't finna come fuck, like bitch, like you ain't finna come fuck. Okay. I got a couple roaches. roaches. You ain't finna come fuck. You ain't never yeah. seen a couple of roaches. Yeah, okay. Red flagging, red, red, red flagging, a, a whole red, red flag. Oh, baby, he said, bitch, they already fucking. He said, what they, what you need me for? What you need me for? He said, you don't need me. Correct. Bro, get your men. Get your men. If it's not, if it's not, if it's not I'd rather don't read it out loud. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna be loud. Would you yeah. rather not that don't read it out loud? You learn from light skin. All right, thanks. Hey, yo, B. Let me tell you. Yo, that, that that bitch, she she meant nothing to me. You you, you see you see the, the you, when you do the things you do, you know. You, you ugly know what I mean? as a bitch, you know, Hey yo, you know it's hey, the yo. rock. You know. What I mean? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, that yeah, nigga Dane. Yeah, you know, yeah. That nigga Dane. You know, I just wanted to fame. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was solid as a bitch. That was solid as a bitch. I knew exactly who you were. Good. Yeah, okay. He put Jay Z's right on top. Like damn. Like, uh, you I can fuck with that. What the fuck? She got a check, nigga. Helping the letter P out. Right now. Oh, ain't this a bitch? <laughs> Heaven. Motherfucker, no, dirty. Heaven got that pee on her herself. She said a dirty Heaven in the competition right dirty, now. I ain't gonna lie. Heaven in the competition right now. Oh, God. Damn, I would pick her thick ones. Bye! Dog, I saw the, the uh, first two. Uh, what you mean? What you mean, Trey? Oh. What you mean, Trey? Oh, my God. What you mean, oh my hey, God. Hey, I'm gonna kidnap that bitch. She'll come back. Okay. Hey, beautiful. I thought she was a letter P for a minute, girl. Oh, wow. Girl, I thought she was a letter P. That nigga must be having turned anyway, though. You know, right?
Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear your responses. Go ahead. Oh, wow. I can't wait to, like, once it's all over so the place. So you, <laughs> you are you are Travis Scott after Afterworld. And um, oh, oh, you, were, you were at a press conference, press conference, and I have to pick two players to be reporters, and, and they have to ask me questions, oh. and I have to make them, make sure my answers are funny Come or I have to drink. Come on with it. Come on. I'm about to tell I'm, I'm about to tell I don't even know how this nigga sounds. I'm about to tell I'm about to tell I want to do it. I'm about oh, to wow. Come on. Come on. We got to okay. do okay. it. Okay. 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 I didn't pick them, but they want to pick So, Mr. Scott. When you were singing, humming, after the body was being carried, walk me through your thought process. Hmm, I believe that's how it went. Go ahead. Uh, um, um, well, um, I just, <laughs> uh, question. Well, I just felt like, um, you know, Kylie and I was having a problem. Ah! So I, I, I didn't even notice the body, to be honest with you. You know, because you miss your grandma. Uh, so is it that you what, didn't what? care to notice the body, or that this person was white? <laughs> what 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 you what you mean? Dog? <laughs> what you mean, dog? My, if it was a black person, I definitely would, would you have would have noticed? Would, it? I definitely wouldn't have noticed either. I mean, I mean, I, I, you I, would, I you would oh, have oh, noticed. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, you would Scott, have. Mr. Scott, keep is that, that what you're Mr. Scott, Mr. Yes. Scott, I have a question. What's I have what's a question. What's up? What's up? How much money did you? What was the dividends at the end? What did you gain? I, I mean, thirty-two. How much? Thirty-two million. But Thir thirty-two wow. million. Wow! What did you give to, to the ignore. people? What did you give to the people? The eight people dead. What, what did you contribute? Well, to dead. the thirty-two million. They did. So, what would I contribute? Mr. Scott, that are all the questions I have. Yeah. Thank you. And there thank you, you very have much. it, folks. Your very own Travis Scott. Mr. Scott, thank the you one you own. He said the, the one you love so much. You know what? I fuck with that. <laughs> he said that was no fucks given. Did I do okay? Did I do all right? He said, now your endorsement's gone, nigga. Your endorsement's gone, nigga. Your endorsement's gone, nigga. He said, but like real nigga I, I've, never, I've never met the people. nigga blaming on, on Kylie. I never, your endorsement's gone. I've never met a celebrity that said it's actually the menu's fault. I never, I like, they, like I've never people like see people bouncing back and forth like that's the first for me. That's the first that shit for me. Like for, uh, I don't know about y'all. It's definitely I'm not just Travis's saying. fault. Like it's I the, didn't feel like it was. It's like you definitely no beforehand. That first they of even, all, I felt like no. them niggas were sacrificing. They said oh <laughs> before God. the concert even started, they, they went over the precaution and safety own. things that they, they need to address before they even went off. The police was there was like, my nigga, this shit is not safe. You're exactly. going to fuck it up. They weren't and prepared then, for that shit. Yeah, but he still allowed it to go on. Who? Travis did. I know for a well, fact. Well, I guess at the end of the day, he does kind of have executive shit. You have executive Because he put the show on him. Yeah, case, you know it? what you do. You know what the hell you I guess be. maybe he is responsible shit. No, but, but let me tell you, though. Real shit, though. Real, real like, shit. I tell you like this. I tell you like this. Nigga, insecurity No, 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 no. Let me say this. Let me say this. Because when we was teenagers coming up, when niggas said when they get 18, guess what? Niggas was grown, right? Yeah. I feel like if so, you're above 18. Can I ask you a question? Did y'all see that video? Of that, of that one girl that's climbing on the ladder. She was like, there's dead bodies. They're dying. They're dying. Well, They're so dying. I a couple of my husbands uh, were there. And I was asking them, like, uh, how was the actual atmosphere? Like, you know, like, was it as, like the videos and shit? Or maybe not, maybe I said, said dropped honestly, his, he like, dropped his whole life. Whole... He dropped some, like, some right. buffalo sauce and shit. And that's why uh, I do all that. Because I just uh, see if they was okay. Maybe mainly the buffalo uh, sauce, but it was. If you don't get you. Somebody somebody said that I guess Trav that the in some of the incidents was before the show. So it was before. I don't, know. I don't think he was before the show. The problem how did was happening. See, see, now hold on. If like, it happened before the show, probably some rock band that got up there and shit. Some rock band. So some rock band people got up there and shit. Listen here. Now let's be real about this, because you black now, you light skinned now. We can talk about this now because that was your afterlife. Yeah. And this is your shit, but I gotta be. But, I gotta keep it hunt. I gotta, I gotta it keep it real. Afterlife. What What is the shit with the with, with people for real? Because You're I feel like that's pit shit. Yes, like like. Bro, now I don't listen. even understand. That's a different <laughs> like, white people. No, no, listen. Was that kind of white now listen though, for real. I feel like if you above eighteen, nothing, nothing should persuade you to be anything. Nothing to persuade you to do anything. Uh, and and it's my and especially at a concert. Now listen. At a concert, you know, you lean with it, rock with it, one, two, step, do what you do. But I feel like niggas sacrificing themselves, people passing out over shit they doing. 
That's that's just a little well, extreme for me to be just blaming yeah. one motherfucker that's, on well, and not yeah. blaming the people and, and there. And another nobody time, like like I, I get it. Okay, we we can say it's subliminal messages and the shit like this and all that shit. But if you ain't believing in that shit, then that shit had no effect on me. I'm not going to a fucking rock concert and jumping off a goddamn eighty foot goddamn banister because I'm I'm at a Led Led Zeppelin kind of fucking concert. You, you know live, what I mean? Once, I'm not slapping. Well, you're a, black. You know, I mean, <laughs> I'm not slapping a bitch just because I'm at a two shirt concert. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, all right, that's a little different. Depends on the concert. Look, 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 I'm gonna help you out. What's my favorite word? A bitch don't come out of there. You know what I mean? But but all I'm saying is is you should have that much control, especially not to sacrifice yourself. Well, it's definitely a personal. There's got to be personal accountability if you went there, like how you what you were doing. But well, at the end of the day, there's some responsibility on the event. I don't think it was some satanic worshiping shit. That you, you guys, well, well, if you go to well, a well, 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 the creative the, the concert, the you know what type of concert you're going to. Well, if you go to Eminem concert, you know what type of concert you're going right. to. If you ain't prepared for the type of concert you want to go to, you don't need to be going to that motherfucker because oh, clearly they weren't prepared for what the fuck I concert the they the went to. The comment said, "Hold on." The comment said that Travis was encouraging the fans to break in. So, so he was also encouraging the fans to break in. I mean, like he knew they were at capacity. And he they, was he should have gave out some free motherfucking. Tickets. I mean, the, but does that relate to breaking in? Does that relate to motherfuckers passing out and dying? Yeah, it was over capacity. Oh, okay. That's what the problem was. Okay, no, okay. But at the end so of the day, so niggas trampling each other. So 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 say niggas trampling each other and not niggas on this on this other shit. You know what I mean? Because it's. Niggas ain't say niggas was trampling each other. Niggas was breaking in. Niggas was talking about this nigga like he performing satanic rituals on this motherfucker. I need I mean, shit to be clear because I'm a I clear mean, individual. He might, As you can see, I like that. He might be. You know, I'm a very clear individual. I like shit to be clear. I don't like to read between lines because, no, my lines that I read are straight. When I read a book, them lines are straight. They're not crooked. Or anything. You know, like, you know, if he's typing like, people up, then he's probably somewhat liable. No, I'm not going to lie. Nigga said, I feel know, like everybody, I feel like both was, of them are liable. I feel like the venue was live, reliable, live when you I feel like Travis. Who? Yeah. You think he was doing? I, I don't. Like I don't know. I don't think it's that. Uh, I think it was whoop, whoop, whoop. No, know. you know what it is. Know. You know what it is. We I think. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily think, but I think it's like this. People take shit and run with it. So right. I think. I think when motherfuckers get get hyped up. It just shit in their mind. Like right. that's the extreme like, viewpoint. Like you ever just case, like so. I actually seen this. A person like it it didn't have nothing to do with what was going on, but a person just was doing something that was just you know how a person just do something or say something that has nothing to do with what's going on, but they believe this shit to the core, believe what they doing. Yeah. And, and I believe that some people just geek themselves up that much that they just believe what they say or believe what they doing. And you know, and that be that. Grow the fuck up. That's all I'm saying. Wow. All right. Let's go on topic. Let's go on the topic. Girl, you ain't go. Girl, you should have been sworn down. Trying to be trying to be trying to fuck out of that shit. That's her daddy in her. That's her motherfucking father. That's a red flag. If it's not a rather or if not a group one, don't read it out loud. Or it's not a good one. They're all great. I mean a group one. I mean a group one. Is it group or would I rather? Okay, okay. We're well, okay, going to do your impression, Shadi. It's crazy. I just watched this whole fucking series. Okay, okay, good. Be quiet. Okay. I don't want no hands. Go. I know. It's a hot thousand and twenty thousand. This month loving series. And talk. Girl. Oh, fuck my asshole. Yep. No, okay, I got it. 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 I need, I need, I don't know who you are. I okay, okay, okay. I need okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Let's, let's see next one. Let's see next one. Um, um, doggone Vanessa or America. Don't you think that niggas should start being shit again? Or America. Don't you think niggas should start being red flags again? Or America. Don't you think? Ah. Uh, uh, okay. It's Bernie okay. Mac. It's okay. Bernie Mac. It's Bernie Mac. Okay, it's Bernie heaven. Mac. She said, what part, what part oh, triggered yeah. you? What part triggered you? The red flag? America. Oh, no. my God. America. She is a fool. She is a fool. She is a fool. She is a fool. Who you with? Who you with? I started to say that, but I started to say Lil John too. No. 
He said, you know what I mean? Who you with? You know what I mean? No, she no, said, no. What hey, she she said, what should you do? The red what, flag? What should you do? The red flag? You're, no, you're no, a clown, I kind of want to do it. A hat sorcerer wants to do another one. I mean, we're okay. we going around all again. No, she we got, got, oh, no, you're the no, game. She, I'm the sorcerer. She's a sorcerer. We can do that. We can do it. Curry, you got to Careful now. Uh-oh. Careful. I'm trying to grab all of them. Uh-oh. Is there would you rather or a group one? man. Or then, all right, hold on. No, he can't share that one. Yeah, let me think if I can even do this one. Yeah, yeah, try. Yeah, come on, Corey. Yeah, Yeah. let's see, light skin. (laughs) Come on, white Mike. Hold on, come on. This is too hard. Light skin, Mike. Light skin, Mike. Mike. Respect, respect the change. Uh, If you uh, don't get your, he said, Come on, white Mike. He said, Light skin, Mike. Mike. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink on this one. Okay. Uh, let me read it to us where you, since you, since you right, gave let's up. Say, give us your best Whitney Houston impression without oh, telling me who you right, are. Right, like right. you never would have guessed who I am. I want you, I want to hear. I want to run. Oh, no, I he, wanna, he, ain't that's 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 he ain't been light skinned that long. He ain't been light skinned. Yeah. He just got light skinned on the show. He ain't been light skinned that long to no, do a Whitney my Houston impression. Definitely, I would have never guessed who I was. I'd have been looking stupid. I would have ate that. Can I have? I'm gonna just drink. Go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Mr. Mickey Murray. All right. Yeah. All right. I got something there for you too, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Got something that you're gonna enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I'll be getting it though. What this one? What this one? Yeah, got, he got this one a little long. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's a group or would you rather? It's a thinker. <laughs> I can't even see that five cheap. I can't even cheat. My legs uh, got the glare on them. All right. Uh, like. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. Put on the beat, and you and another player must make a song up about having asthma. The song oh, must be a man, hot, and hot. it must be good, or you will have two shots. Let me see that again. Let me see that again. Uh, Ooh, can this? So, can this? He, he got to pick. He got to pick oh, the player. So funny. do you have? He, okay. Mister, Mister, can you give us a beat, please? I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, who you got to pick? Who you want to pick? Oh uh, yeah, you know what? Cause, cause, who you cause, pick? cause if we fail, like if if, if my partner this. fail, we doing we doing hey, two shots each. So so you already know. You already know my light skinned nigga Corey. I'm picking. I'm picking him. And, and we finna. And we finna rip this. And we finna rip this about asthma for the for the next minute. I got something to say about asthma. Put on the beat. Put on the beat. And we gonna rip this about asthma. Put on the beat. Put on the beat. And we gonna rip this shit about asthma for the, for the, for the next minute, my, right quick. Like, I'm saying my voice for asthma. It has to be. It has to be a minute. And it has to be a minute. It has to be approved. And it has to be good. It has to be good. At the end, I'm still saying my voice for asthma. And we have to talk about. You're you're you having that? Correct. Show me that. Okay. 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 Here we go. There yeah, we go. I can talk with that. I can with that. Um. Hey. I, I want to shout out all the gym teachers that made me run when I had my heart condition. Yeah. yeah. When them motherfuckers ain't believe me. Hey. This for y'all. Yo. Listen. Back then, all I needed was an inhaler. Nah, nigga got braver. Listen, I had to run upstairs. Goddamn, man, the nigga got crazy. Now listen, I was breathing nigga out my chest. And goddamn, dog, man, wish they was under arrest. Uh huh. See, it felt like I had a vest on. People up in here, dog, had to roll on. See, I had asthma real bad, had a heart condition. But the motherfucker didn't care, didn't listen. See, I was light skinned, so they just didn't shed no pity on me. Now you see, now I gotta pass it to my other light skinned nigga. Uh, so he can tell you how I be. Cause have an asthma, nigga, ain't no joke, man. Goddamn, nigga, gotta breathe and choke. Uh, uh, you heard what he sung? I only got one lung. It feel like it. Uh, I can't breathe. Uh, yeah, now you see I'm sitting on the team, but I'm on the bench. I can't run in the game. I got no legs. I got no breath. Yeah, I'm about to take you to my chest. Yeah! It was all the breeze. Talk, talk. Oh, What's the time on that? What they talking about? What's, What's the they... time? Where that red dot stop at? Oh, one twenty-seven. Made a nigga wish I had asthma. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was all yeah. just asthma is cool. Yeah. I didn't even want that shit. Like, wow. Asthma awareness in this motherfucker. Wow. On the complex. Right I did. Killer. 
I just feel like, um, babe, I just feel like, yeah. um, babe, I just want to thank God because God's been with me today. Cause I made that, I made all of this up at the last minute, and I just want to thank the Lord for y'all see um, my Diddy dog. I have um, Diddy once again. Yeah. Yeah. with me. Yeah. 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 If you don't get your, uh, yeah. if you don't get your, uh, yeah. I'm fuck with that Murdoch, Mr. Theme Song, Mr. Theme, theme Song, Mr. Theme Song. Yeah. Mr. Theme song. Yeah. I mean, I got, he got the right guy. Look at you. No, y'all remember the last one you made with my brothers? Serenade them. Knock knock. That one was fire too, yeah. I can't do this. I ain't never heard a real somebody. All right, give me here. And I know the group. Yes, that's all good. It's all good. No, it's cool. He knows shit. No. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. No. Swear to God. No. What did that was? What did it say? Oh yeah. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> bitch, you got it. Bitch, you got that one. The bag's close. Hey. Bitch, the bag's close. No, bitch, no. you better use your fucking memory. No, the bag's close. I only know like one song. I can't remember the word. And you better do do no. Oh, what's that one song? Uh, you know uh, it. <laughs> you motherfucking know it. This one is for the boy. Stop playing. So, oh, so, 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 you're bullshitting. <laughs> I know. So, she got, she got, you know, which one she you got. You know which one she fucking got. You know which no, one she got. I'm glad you she got, got, she got your mom. Okay. She got your, uh, the other ooh, mom. Ooh, ooh. What's that? Google shit. Ooh. Or I'll put you in the chest. Can I look you at drink? No. You finna drink? I'm no. gonna give you a nasty shot if you have to do this. Ooh, fuck nasty. Ooh, damn. Fuck damn. She can't wait to get, damn. No, 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 no. I'm about to get this. Give me two seconds to get, think of a song. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, 35. Yeah, give her, 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 a yeah, verse, a verse, a verse. Heaven, did you say she just went no? And you said it wrong too. You said pop, pop. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What are you saying? Like, oh my god. First of all, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. I don't get it. I couldn't tell. I don't you. get okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I couldn't tell you. What's that song when she was like? That's like you should take, Bitch, take, uh, uh, take that shot. Take that shot. Heaven, it's gonna be a nasty one. She's fucking sick. I got that boom, 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 bass. Uh, Finish it. Boom, Finish boom, it. Boom, 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 boom. Stop. No, sing okay. it with love. Okay. Sing it with okay. love. I'm not going like that. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, put it together. I, I got that boom, 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 bass. Megan Trainor? <laughs> That's who exactly. I thought it was. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> bitch, you fell. You fell. Last year, last year, I got to get a I ain't got to do this. I see no trouble. No, bastard. It's Nicki Minaj. Yeah. That's a damn Yeah, shame. damn shame. No, you gotta take That's a drink to that one. I I've been asked her, but I know I know she was like, on the first. I mean, heaven, what's your question? Heaven, you gotta finish all that. Y'all know I don't never vote for her for nothing. I know, I know, and that's it's so ironic that she would pick her and she would get that that one. It's ironic. Kevin, I want to see you choke on that motherfucking shot. It's okay though. That's talking about a lot of stuff in this shot. I'm gonna be one of them. Oh, to the head. Oh. Now that's what we call a red flag that can turn that, into a green. Go. Looking at his a green for yes. Oh my Nine god. Nine month B. Go. Oh my god. Go. All of it. Go on. Yes, all of you are sick people. All of you are really you get sick. A taste. People. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. And a luxury shot, nigga. Is okay. Is, I, I, I'm the last one. I gotta go. I got one more. I guess. Ooh. And then we get to our top. Oh, I okay. drive too. Ooh, what is nasty? Ooh. I'm hoping I'm gonna get a good one. I'm gonna get a good one. Oh, 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 Wow. Can y'all give me a verse for like, one? Uh, I mean, what, what, what verse do you want? What's common? Uh, I just feel like, why is she, why is, why is the one I wanted to pick? She, uh, oh, damn, like, it fell. What you hate when that has a common? Oh. Oh, oh, I think yours is here. Boom, 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 bo
I was thinking she made that other bass song. No, that yeah. is. Like, you ain't grabbing it right. You're you not grabbing it right. You're not grabbing it right. You got to grab it. Wow. This is not what I'm going to do, though. I didn't want this one, though. So, you got to grab it right. So, that's the rule. So. Unbelievable shit. Sorcerer shit got grabbed it right. This is some, un- this is some shit. This is some Go shit ahead. for me. Go ahead. Do you, do, do, what does it say on there? I don't even know. Go ahead. Just, just After the impression. I don't even know. Just do it. Impersonate. Just do it. Okay, let me see. I got a impersonation, y'all. Look, it's good. Crash! <laughs> I got a impersonation, y'all. Stop! Pause. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm, I'll check. They, they done it for you. I know. I know. They, they disrespectful as hell. Okay, let me see. Okay. She said. Go ahead. All right, Bobby Brown, the king of R&B. The, right, the king of R&B. <laughs> Bobby, Christina, Ronnie, Crystal. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Yeah. I need more. I need a little more. I don't know it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Yeah. That's the, he said that's the one. He said that's the one. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, no, hey, oh, hey, oh, no, do that one minor. Do that one minor. Do that one minor. No, do that one minor. Hey, do that one minor. <laughs> 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 oh, no, the levitating oh, sound. Oh, oh, y'all are irritating. Oh, uh, uh, why? Why did y'all make me feel like you're levitating? Oh, uh, <laughs> why, did make, uh, why did y'all make me do that? And what? That was that was that, that was, was good. Bro. Wow. Unfortunately, See, I, I that wraps up um our our last half day, and we're gonna be moving on to the topic. We're is... moving on to the top. Let's go ahead and get to the. Craig, I'll let Craig do the topic. What you do sing today? Our <laughs> get red flag. <laughs> the red flag. Red. Flag. The red flag. All you niggas at the table. For all you, for all you pimps and tricks. I'm looking at. Or if you have an outbreak right now, it ain't my business. I got to get this. Red flag it up. Red flag it up. Red flag it up. I've dated so many red flags. I just don't even know how to count anymore. So, um, literally, I, I mean, I don't know. At this point, I, I mean, am I am I my own red flag? Are you your own red flag? Let me, let me keep it real. Uh, I done, uh, are your own red flag? Please. I done dated this. red flags, then been a red flag. My mama was a red, red flag. flag then caught the red flag. Now, this nigga they said caught, caught the red flag. This nigga, hey, can you go okay? Please elaborate. Pin please, that one, brother. Pin that one. <laughs> now, red flags. Red flag. Let's just... How you catch a red flag? This. Shit. You know what? You catch, a, you catch a you catch a red flag, catch a red flag being somewhere you ain't supposed to fucking be. A sneaky link. Doing something you ain't supposed to be fucking yeah. doing. That's how you catch a red flag. Jeez. That's, what are some characteristics of some red flags? You know what? Like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I got your phone number, you a red flag because there's no way we should be this compatible. So, if I'm texting you, I'm calling you, you a red flag. Just know that, but I love you. <laughs> If, <laughs> do you hear me? <laughs> okay, yes, hey. No, if you're an Aries, no, 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 I got some good. If you're Aries, you're a red flag. Um, if you're Leo, you're a red flag. Um, oh. let's see. If Leo you are a dreadhead, you're a red flag. Damn, bro. Damn, if you're bald headed, you're a red flag. Damn, damn. that is it. You're a red flag. I know, I'm bald headed. I'm a red flag. Um, let's see. If you a singer, you're a red flag. Okay, you're right. If you are an artist and the Ooh, artist industry, it's a very terrible, it's a, a very flag. terrible uh, what is the word industry? Yeah. It's a hard industry. No, I think red the flag. biggest the, the most red flags I ran into were like Aries and uh, oh no, artists. Artists and red flag and Aries were the biggest red flags I've ever been into. Aries, 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 Aries? really? Aries, what, what month is Aries? Oh, Come on. Aries are Come April, like April, April. 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 Well, no, beginning, uh, 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 beginning, uh, beginning, April. beginning, beginning of April. Yeah, I should have knew that. That's shit. a fire. Anywho, but anywho, fire, yeah. you're not gonna come at Aries like that. I feel like Taurus. You should say Taurus. Wow. That's what you're thinking of. Whoa. You and that's what this Taurus. nigga is. And Aries. Oh, oh, Aries. You a Taurus in your head? Oh, you got double. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, also, 
Also, you forgot to mention Pisces and Gemini. Who the fuck? Hold on. Who the fuck? Pisces and Gemini are from the devil. No, Gemini. They were delivered from the devil. No, 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 no. See, see, see. See, we got to get to the real, real. If we're going to if we're gonna do that, we got to get to the real, real. The real, real. Let's start off with them Sagittarius. And them Scorpions. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And them Scorpions. And let's start off with them dramatic ass Capricorns. Obama, 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 that it's sign a, right there, I'm gonna tell you the truth on that sign. You better tread lightly. I, I, ain't tread never, lightly. I, I ain't never loved nobody harder than I love that sign. But ain't nobody ever That's broke that. my goddamn heart. Then a motherfucker, then that motherfucking sign. I'm so excited. Nigga said, fuck that shit. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, 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 wake up. Nigga said, wake up. Y'all daughter down here sucking dick. Wake up. I'm wake actually, up. I'm actually wake up. I'm actually sucking clitoris. But mind your business. He said no. Nah. <laughs> he said now nah, this is I, 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 I can't say he's lying, so shit. What am I do shit? Okay, Chris. Okay. He said no, no, no bullshit. No, 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 no bullshit though. Let's 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 get into some let's get into some, some red red flag and behavior. Red flag and behavior. Like go, go ahead, go ahead, like Go ahead, Scorpio. You know go ahead, Scorpio. To bring up the horrible, the horrible, the most horrible sign I've ever made. <laughs> I've been, this I've been, coming I've been from lo- an evil I've been, Satan sent person. I'm in love. I'm in love with uh, Scorpio, but they're just, they are just. Wow, my God, I just. Oh my God. You in love? That's all you got. Yeah. Yes. So let me tell you some real flags. Y'all should be really fucking with this. Okay. Saying, real. Okay. Cause Drake the motherfucker Scorpio, you tripping? Anyway, so let me tell you. Horrible human beings. Let me tell you something. Look, y'all need to look for. You need to look for the red flag within your friends. Yes. Because you around them more, you know what I'm saying? Like you Damn. love your parents, and you spent the most time, like they spent the most time developing you, but you really engage with your friends on a day to day basis. Oh, you know what I'm man. saying? You know what I'm right. saying? So. I feel like those, the one that's giving you the most influence, that's where you have to be aware the most. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, bro, like, you putting that energy on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, red flags are motherfucking shit that make you, you know the fuck better. You know what the fuck you should be doing. And you know wow. what you should be hearing, what you should be not hearing. You know what I'm saying? Like, or what you should be around. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to that shit. The real thing with red flags is addressing them motherfuckers wow. and doing something about them. You know what I'm saying? That's the motherfucking talking point. You know what I'm saying? That's the real talking point. You know, know what? what? You do with this red flag when you see it in your motherfucking brain? Ding, 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 all those fucking shit. Just to piggyback what you said on a red flag. Well, I am who I am. This is what I do. This is me. Type shit. That's red flag behavior, and yeah. from friends and relationships too. Yes, I feel like listen. Change that shit. That's yeah. that's a red flag. Like just because a motherfucker will put up with it, don't mean a motherfucker have to put up sure. with it. Yes. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, like, and, no and, and, I, and I feel like pick up pick back what you're saying. Like like you said, they put up with it. They don't mean they have to. It's like when you address it, a red, another red flag is when you address it to somebody and bring the red flag to them, and they say that's not a red flag or that's not what that is. That's a red flag that's within themselves. That's a red fucking flag. If you if you bring up to any anything to anybody and they say. <laughs> Um, and they try to like deflect it or or don't have yeah. no accountability about yeah. it. It's a uh, mm, that's a little bit of a red flag, bitch. You don't have you don't know how to take uh, criticism or take anything like when I come says, at you, you yeah. talk about somebody else, yeah, right? or some other you shit. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, trying to justify. Yo, justify. Wow. We are that, not, that's the word we. Look we are not for. in the court of law. You ain't get to justify he shit. Justify. That's what people they try yeah. to justify. Red flag and justifying bullshit. It's just a fun bullshit. And, and let me explain. Let me explain. Explain that, explain that shit. Just a fun bullshit is just a fun your friend bullshit too. <laughs> yeah. Even That's, like like for real. Yeah, like you know, sometimes now listen. Now listen. As niggas and as females, we got a written rule with each other, a hidden written rule. 
we got our friends back no matter what the fucking case may be. We shouldn't. Now, okay. now, now, we we address friends in private, you know what I mean? But yeah. but all in all, we, we got our friends back. Yeah. But I feel like it, it should be a line drawn because yes. real shit, I've been in many situations where, nigga, this bitch know you lying. No, I'm lying. <laughs> No, you she see me, see me look in her eyes. Why? Oh look oh at God. you. You looking in my eyes, man. We know it's a lie. Oh, and you put me in that situation for me to lie in front of your bitch, you knowing know. she know you already lying. Cause yeah. she know the truth anyway. You so now you she don't know. like she don't like me, and I ain't allowed in the house for no more than five minutes for two fucking weeks and shit. Not because, every time she see me because, say your nephew had a Because, like because now, because now she mad at you a little bit, but she mad at me a lot. Red flag oh, shit. That's, pause, that's pause, shit right pause, there. Pause, pause. Identify that's, the red flags within yourself. He said you put me in a position to lie to you. And she You're already knew the truth. That's red flagging. At the first of all, she already knew the truth. She know me and you lying. But to order to keep up a lie, I gotta be in the lie. Dude, red flagging because you my nigga. I gotta. I'm gonna have to go with you. But I'm looking at you like, yeah, we went to the motherfucking mall. Looking at you, right. like, nigga. Yeah, 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 we was there all motherfucking day. <laughs> Oh motherfucking day. He said, he said nigga. At he you. said, matter of fact, we ain't leave till it got dark. You know how I know? Because it was dark outside when we left. He said, you know what? I'm looking at you like I don't want to have And she you. already know your dumb ass. I told you, baby, we went to the motherfucking mall. I'm looking at you like nigga. Please. He said, please leave me in the car. Leave me in the car. He said, you know what? I'm gonna stay in the car next time. I'm gonna wait outside for you. I'm gonna see you again, Barbara. Please, no. uh, he said five he minutes. Says, you got five minutes. He said, I meet your simple ass outside. Leave me in the car. He though. said, red flagging. If you ever did that for your nigga, red flagging. And it's a red flag if you didn't notice your bitch already knew the fuck you was on bullshit. That's a red flag. Okay, so to catch a red flag, if we ask you a question, we ain't gonna answer. We don't see we gonna lie. We so already like, nine times out of ten. You know the we already know. We just asking. You know, you know, lying about the shit. And you know what's so funny is like, it's, it's like why lying is like a huge red flag. It's like you lie about some little ass. We shit. We not Oprah, and we why? not Oprah security. You will lie about okay, some we'll ass, bro. If you lie, if you lie about some shit like um, it's just a white lie. I didn't go do. They, you may not even cheat it. You may not even done bad. You just did a little simple ass. Uh-huh. I, you you were somewhere and you know I wanted to know type shit, and then you like. I'm just gonna lie about it because I don't feel like telling them. That's a. No, I would like to honestly to red be trans- flagging. That's to a be- red flag in that. No, shit. to be completely transparent, I like to call me a pink flag. You know, I'm kind of red, kind of white. You know, like I'm in the middle. Girl, um, that's red. Flag. That's the, if that's I mean, not I mean, the I mean, most I mean, red flag in this shit. I didn't butt chicken. Why are you out to categorize yourself? I'm just saying, like, if hear me out. Hear me out. That motherfucker said I'm dying red flag. Hear me out. Dying red flag. Hear me out. I'm red flag like. I'm a red hear me flag out. But hear me out because like I be having some really good points. Like let me tell you, like listen, I can. Let's I can. Red flag I can. It can be like that. Like I feel like I'm a like a pink red. I'm a pink flag. You well, know. One thing I want to say is, is it even a red flag though? For if it's people that you already had a relationship for a good amount of time with. That's oh, not a red flag. Hell, hell yeah. That's not a red flag. Hell yeah, because we know. No, they don't, they'd I'm be a repeat of offenders. I'm saying, shouldn't red flags only be in the industry? No, no they'd be repeat of offenders. I'm going to tell you, no, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you why. No, I'm going to tell you why. You for can... your circumstance, they're called repeat offenders. Repeat they offenders. don't understand. No. They are repeat offenders. They're going to do that shit all day. I'm going to tell you why. And this is this is some red flag shit right here. Me, me and my niggas, me, let's just say the fellas. We around, we around heaven, heaven and Shay Lee. And, 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 and I do this. Hey, bruh, um, baby, I be having them bands, don't I? I'm going to you lying. Flag. That's a red lying. flag and shit. Because before we you came here, you asked me for bitches. five fucking dollars no, when we got in this motherfucking show. That's red flag and shit. You said you know, like do not that nigga like that. And you put no, us in a situation. No. Now, now listen, we try to brush it, and I'm gonna tell you the red flag or red flag. When we try to be like, all right, all right. How much you get away with this lie? And then you come back and be like, hey, nigga, 
Remember when we had hit that motherfucking nigga? That's red, red flag. Use a red flagger. Use a red flagger. That's red flag and shit right there. And that's why, cause friends do it all the time. They really do niggas be trying to front and shit. And he be like, like why? Like nigga, he said, "All right, nigga, we we good. Like we cool. I'm all right. I'm trying to be cool and shit. Nigga, niggas be like, no, nah, no, nah, for real. Let Ain't me not tell y'all. Nigga, like, bro, you trying let to have me, me lie? Tell like, y'all. like for real, for real. Now, now you trying to have me lie for real? I, I, let me said, tell no, y'all. I don't really lie for real. Like all that. I know is I Craig is a Craig. good ass friend. That's all I'm hearing. Line. Craig is a good ass friend. He got you to the motherfucker. I'm hearing. I mean, I got you, but best believe that we gonna have to talk about this. We gonna have to talk about this because. Because listen, one thing I can't hide is my facial expressions. No, and it, after I would yeah, got a two good, events. you got two good lies with me. <laughs> let, let me let me just say that I'm a lie for you regardless. I'm right. gonna go to the end for you, but you got two good ones until my facial expression starts to show the real. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, I was yeah. a, so just what you said. Okay, so you could be with somebody, right? You could be with anybody, a friend or anything, and, and you'd be like, you know, you might not notice right away, right? You might not notice that, um. There's a red flag. It might be a pink flag. You or, just or... pissed me off. I'm sorry because Taj, you just fucking snapped. Do you see what he got highlighted? This was just for the dudes in the booming system, top down AC with the cooling system. When he come up in the club, he be blazing up. Right, got stacks right. on deck like he raising it. Taj, any you know, real? He there? He might got an end. Anyway, yeah. anyway. Oh, back to I want to say, I want to say, it's a lot of red flag and shit going on. Now, <laughs> and that, and that, was that a dick? Going on, with, with, on his birth? With, 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 that was, that somebody, was definitely look, a dick. When somebody went, when somebody went to break up with you for not liking Nicki Minaj, that's a red flag, and oh, I ain't gonna name no names. Okay, but no, the, I leave that alone. No, but okay. Red, listen, oh, okay. Let me address this with you. Can I address something real quick? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so somebody, somebody, let's say you know them for a long time, right? They may not have zoomed, a, a, like they might not put out red flags. They might put out white or pink flags, like Kevin said. But they're still red flags because red flag so, sometimes flag. they, sometimes they, they, you have to get to know somebody to see the red flags, honestly. And I think that's a, a really big deal too. Like red flags don't always come with somebody you just meet. They might be with them for a long time, and you might be like, well, damn, I didn't know this shit at first, but this is a big ass red flag for me. You know what I'm saying? And it, and that's honestly what happens to a lot of people. That's what starts a lot of breakups. Term- or first time hearing red flags, I always thought it's like it's supposed to be an alert to like something, you know, like. But like, it, I guess I was under the impression that it was like you know to new things, like yeah. okay. versus like I guess now recently it became you know viral and shit is like yeah. a whole thing on social media or whatever. But let me say, well, I want so to maybe it's getting to the, to the whole yeah. group then, just to piggyback what he said to the whole group then. Now, will it like? Would you rather? Like little red flags, like little shit that keep just popping up, nah. little shit you could deal with, or a big red flag. Which one would you rather deal with? A like, big like, red like, flag, because you lying about small shit, minuscule shit, shit that don't even fucking matter. You blind that the sky is blue, my nigga, and I can see the shit is fucking yellow. Like, you're lying about small shit. What's the reason? What is the point of lying? My thing is, we grown. You not Oprah, and you not her damn security. So who the fuck is this whole group? Like, who are we to lie to each other? Oh, my God. Like, it's like, what's the <laughs> point? Like, to piggyback off what he said, he He's was like- though. That's what I'm saying. He's security. He, he he definitely security. But like to piggyback off what he said, he was like, it's more or less of like red flags. You know, you could be with somebody and like realize their whole life is a red flag. They could be flodging the whole fucking time. They could say like, I got this, 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 and this. You realize you're like, okay, you got this, but this shit is not what the fuck you geek that bitch up to be. You got this. This shit is not what the fuck you said this was. Like you geeking your life up to be something that you're not. And it's like. He said, but you that a red motherfucker flag, only run hurt. when I charge it up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you being a red flag to yourself because you're not being honest real. with yourself. Like, you out here trying to trying to sell a, sell a dream that but ain't you. I stay you with my a, mom. You, she just don't be there most of the exactly. time. Exactly. Like, you selling the image that does not portray the real you. Like, who red are you really flag? putting a red flag on for yourself or for the next for the next bitch or next nigga? Like, you're not being honest with yourself. Like, our generation, we being red flags for real because we know for a fact we all toxic in this bitch. We all did some toxic ass shit, shit small here or there. Like, I'm not toxic. We all did some toxic shit. Like, you know that ass? Like, I done definitely called a nigga like, so I can't be da 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 And I'm just mad because he didn't ask about if I ate already. So I'm low-key just mad he didn't see if I already ate. Or I'm low-key mad that she didn't ask me if I was going to do some dinner or something like that. Like, I'm low-key salty that somebody didn't ask me to go to Olive Garden. And let me tell you, red flag together because I know what the fuck you want for. And I still ain't finna ask you what the fuck you want. Yes, a young nigga. God damn it. Yes. Listen, listen, god damn it. First off, something something that I noticed that like millennials do, you know what I'm saying? Like we too quick to overanalyze. Like something mm-hmm. he brought to my attention, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like 
Oh, we too man. quick to like break down the problem, like rather than like, bro. Sometimes except you gotta accept the person as like, it is. What they fucking is. You know if what they saying? say they blue. They First blue. Off, if they told you they fucking blue, that's what they fucking believe in their heart that they're fucking blue. You know what I'm saying? Like they, sometimes people actually believe what they're saying. And they, they can provide you know evidence for the shit. You know, it's even though it might not be logical yeah. evidence, it's evidence you know, that made it logic. logical. It was logical you, evidence to them that made them believe you know that what? shit. And it's they like we got different point of views. I got to You know what? I can't even. This is not a bashing portion of this show. This is more of an agreement. And I just want to say this. I will, I love that the fact that they are admitting this because guess what? Admitting Niggas, what? listen. What you what, I, what I'm trying to say what is tread lightly. What I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to say is overanalyzing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Niggas are simple. Yeah. Y'all simple-minded. Sometimes exactly. Yeah, Meaning y'all simple-minded. Y'all simple-minded. we're not as we're not as complex. Hi. <laughs> We're, we're not as complex as as y'all. Y'all will make three, four different scenarios on what a nigga could be doing, what he what he shouldn't be doing. Y'all can create that scenario, but guess what? But I as bet a you, nigga, we don't even listen. I'm like, you lying. As a nigga, we so you one lying. track. Lying. I'm pretty sure out of my scenarios, you done did one of the two Those three holes lying on your face, they done lined first up of all, when you start lying. All, they first done start lying. They said, la, 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 la. I can't never right, agree bro. with these niggas. That's that's a red flag. When you try to when you try to agree with a motherfucker, no, and they don't want to let you be agree. Like, no, I slightly agree. No, no, no. no, no, no. You I, slightly I, no, no. agree. What, I, what I'm saying is, is niggas are simple minded, and females oftentimes do blow shit out of proportion. No, we, don't. we blow it to yeah, to Yes, y'all do because y'all see. Y'all thought no, no, no. Crazy. What y'all do is y'all lightly. speak shit. See, y'all we made y'all thirty two inch dream a fucking fifty inch. No, no. Let me give y'all some game. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. No, no, fuck all that. Fuck all that. They don't understand the power they have and they manifest shit. When you keep on saying, oh, yes, your nigga, your nigga cheating. I I, I know you cheating and I know you cheating. You manifesting that shit. Because the one time you do catch your nigga cheating, after the 90 times, after the 99 times you you accuse this nigga of cheating, the one time you get him, oh, I knew it all along. No, can, bitch, can you manifested the shit. I, can I manifest and, and, and that's the red flag within his motherfucking self. You know what? Y'all, y'all can't play with me, man. Can I just fuck all that, bro? Fuck all that. That's my that's my brother. And I have to ride with him. Fuck all that. We have a nice conversation after this. I'm gonna manifest something really quickly. I'm gonna manifest you niggas get some motherfucking money. Get manifest y'all niggas. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna manifest. I got it. I'm gonna manifest you. I'm gonna manifest you niggas get some motherfucking rhythm in your dicks. I'm gonna manifest you. I'm gonna manifest some shit. I'm gonna manifest y'all not coming so quick. I'm gonna manifest. Pop a pill and get your makeup. I'm a manifest that you need to get some common sense. Hey, I'm matter of fact, he said, don't need trips. Folks. I'm a manifest that they just need to shut the fuck up sometimes. No, I'm no, a manifest. They ain't never, they ain't never I'm happening. A, I'm a manifest. Pass out. Pass out. Pass out. Pass out. He likes he this. Said, and Craig, that's a red flag Craig gets right a kick there. out of it. Craig gets a kick out of it. Right Craig there. The always, the always got to get the last Please. word. That's a red flag right there. Craig can't Craig. never admit when they wrong. That's a red Craig. flag right there. Don't see the shit when they wrong. Bro. That's a red flag right there. My brother. He my said, brother. talk about compromising. He said, talk about compromising. But when a nigga try to compromise, niggas ain't compromisable. He said, that's a red flag right there. He said, that's all I'm saying. When a nigga try to compromise, niggas said, nah, nah, I ain't compromising your way. That's a red flag. So, Art, that's how I'm going to say. Well, I was going to say, so basically what I learned. So red flag, I know you got to go home good. to your nigga, my. I know you got to go home to your to your to your chicken shit. You okay but, with me? Uh, so just keep flag, that shit a hundred though. Um, they don't have to be new, but I guess the bigger thing is to have more communication, maybe with whoever is drawing a red flag from you and understanding it, like oh, why. Say it. why uh, okay, okay, okay. So Corey, 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 a red Corey. flag right there. Nigga. Ah, Craig is a lady. Okay, Craig is a lady. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me address it. Let me say it. Let me just say this for you. Okay, I'll say this. Even if you communicate with them and they're not being honest about the red flag, that's a red flag. Because if you can communicate. If they're defensive about it? Yeah, because, like, because when you communicate, you can, honestly, you tell anybody to have a red flag, anybody, they're going to be defensive. People are automatically defensive about defensive about shit. They feel like they, they, they're, they're not wrong. Let me say that. 
So it could be anybody, whether it's to be about um, the sky being blue or the chicken is made a certain way or any fucking thing. People are defensive when they feel like they're right, they're right, and those are red flags. When you can't be wrong about some shit. When you can't be wrong. When you're not open to being wrong. What if they don't know that what they're doing is a red flag to you, though? The, they know, nigga. No, they know. They know. Body, body, body Okay, so maybe I'm just not understanding. Body language. Like what red, red flag in this case. It, somebody's like. No, open it's, it's a variation somebody, of different things. things. Yeah. It's, it's a, a variation of different things. It could be signs leading up to things. Mm -hmm. Facial expressions. You know I mean? It could be or body it language. Be what, what you allow. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like. Let me. Let me. I'm not. I'm not even gonna go this route. But but no no no. But it's not one red. of those things that could be misconstrued as one way or the other. It's got to be toxic or some shit like. No, because red, a, a red flag is more so. It's like this. We we know we know what we're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, them red flags. They know what they're doing. But when you allow somebody to do certain shit, what they're gonna do? They're gonna do what you allow them to do. Yeah. So and, essentially, they are subjective. Because certain people. I've I didn't met certain people who treat certain people a certain way yes. that don't treat other people a certain way. Say that shit again. You bro. know what I mean? Like real shit. Like is a is a vast is a different different feeling. And you look at that and you know what I mean. That's but it's what you know what what people Sorry. but what people allow. At the end of the day, we all have a choice. Right. You know what I mean? Now, granted, in some situations, yes, choices are limited. Choices are slim. But in certain situations. We do have that free will and we do have that choice. And most of the time, we take that red flag route. Let me ask, okay, I want to ask some. Go ahead, man. I was going to I was gonna pick up. I'm curious on this then, um, since you said it that way. What happens if you if you decide to move forward, move on from another red flag, whether it's a friendship, relationship, or even family members, like anything like that, right? What happens if you move, to, move on and you run into another red flag? Let me say Are this. you a red flag chaser? Now let me say this. Let me say no, this. No, you're a double offender. You, you are a double <laughs> offender. You, you, and right, you are, you are a double offender. And let me tell you a prime example. We have love and hip hop fans in here, right? No, nah. we do not. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you okay. Do. okay, okay, okay. But three, three, three do. <laughs> no, four people. Four people. I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Okay. Why Stevie, about that? Stevie J, yeah. Jocelyn, yes, Nico. Yeah, and, and uh, Mimi. Yes. <laughs> First right. off, they're bigger than loving. Right. I know right. Jocelyn from Twitter oh, memes. You know okay, like, okay. Oh, now, now we all have this yeah, now. Now, now listen. Now listen. Mimi. When 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 love and hip hop first started with Stevie J and Mimi on the show, I was a big, <laughs> I was a big fan of Mimi because Mimi's a very pretty girl and she's a plain Jane. I love a plain Jane. Yeah, you know, understand? Season, you know what I mean? I I love it. I love it though. But. But listen, this is what I and this is what going to another red flag to another red flag. And first of all, I have so much respect for and I have so much hope and and potential I thought could be from this. But I learned that she was a red flag. She was a double offender. Her yeah. motherfucking self. You know why? She went from Stevie J. When she left Stevie J, I said, you know what? That's the woman getting her life together. Yeah. That's a woman that's tired of a nigga bullshit. But that's a that's a woman that 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 want to be better in life. Wanna want that's a woman that want to change her heart. Woman, woman that want to change, change, change her ways. And you know what that woman did? That woman found it. That woman found it. Found it. A man named Nico in the slums, in the slums, in the slums of 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 whatever project, <laughs> and, <laughs> and put this nigga on, gave this nigga a home, gave that nigga and made a porno tape. Now the porno tape is not red flaggers because you should be good. able you should be able to do anything and everything with honestly, your partner. You should you should it be should able, be able to do that. It wasn't but good though. but what I'm saying was what I'm saying it is good or not. What I'm saying it's is you went from that. Stevie J, <laughs> who Stevie J, although he's an asshole, you can call him what he wants. But he got your free bus ride. Man, listen, Stevie J is established. You went from now. This one thing I do agree with women on. You, I'm not finna downgrade. If I agree with this women on this, if you have dated a man 
that has a certain amount of stature that you're used to. I agree with you on not going down from that. I'm just not going to be that nigga that's going to keep you up there. I'm going to keep you where I want to, like, not where I want to keep you, but I'm going to keep you good, but I ain't going to keep you where that nigga kept you at. So I might this not be the nigga for you, but I admit that. But this this lady, she went to the bottom of the bottom and the bottom of the motherfucking barrel to get this nigga. This nigga ain't even, you don't even know this nigga, this nigga social media sites. You don't even know this nigga, this nigga fucking Facebook page. You didn't know this nigga from Adam or motherfucking Eve. And what the fuck did he do? Finesse a motherfucking sex tape out this bitch. <laughs> all right. I'm you went from turn. another red flag to a red flag. And all I'm saying is, is you are a red fucking flag and red flags belong to be together. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why men and all men like Craig are fucking red flags. Because Mimi is what a married to a woman now. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Who fuck? No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mimi is uh, married to that. a woman now. Let me tell you why I'm, I'm, men I'm, I'm, and all men like Craig. Did she are get divorced? Red. Flag. Ain't, they, ain't they separated? They're ain't they separated? Ain't they divorced? They're divorced. They're divorced. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let, 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 let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let me, you know what? I don't need to know why. Give her the space. Give her the space. Give her the space. Talk your shit, cuz. Talk your shit. I would like to rebut. First, first off, I want to say the guiltiest party be the most defensive. Craig is the sweatiest <laughs> and the reddest in the fucking room. Let me say that. Let me say that. I've been let drinking. I do I real drinking on this show. These no. niggas be pump faking. Check they cups. <laughs> check check they cups. Check they cups. I do I do real drinking on this show. Check they check they cups. First of all, let me say this. Let me say this. I'll cause because I need to let me say this, sweetheart. Go ahead, Craig. Let me say ahead. this. Go ahead, sweet. Go ahead, face. Go ahead, elaborate. First of all, this this lady is no longer with that woman she was with. And let me say this. Just because you are bad in, in the man world and you have bad taste in men don't mean you're going to have good taste in women. Ooh. Let me just say that. The same problems will still arise. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I'm telling you. From, yes, I'm, they do. I'm they I'm just come you. in a different form. No. Okay. They come in a different form and a little more money. I'm telling let you. Let go, let I'm go. telling you from like the person that had the niggas ain't shit, been dealing with niggas ain't shit for all their lives. And women. Go ahead. And women's. I can honestly say, I was a, like a women, like man, they show me something different because you niggas. The insane. fuck! I find they they know they know how it is. They they can relate to a woman better than a male can. Mainly because women are not afraid to tap into their emotions to be able to have that communication. They are also more aware of how they feel internally as of as well as externally. They can right. show that love. Whereas men, they have this whole like stigma where they can't show no love. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like no, 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 when half the time no, no, I can tell you, man, I, I didn't protect some more. I, I saw a little. I, whatever niggas I ever fucked with, I had to protect. Them or not, I have to protect my bitches, so it's like, no, no, nah, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel that, I feel that. Hey, I be hey, having a hey. whole, I be having to put them on I the gotta, inside. I gotta, I gotta agree with that, but but the facts still remain. Then, 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 why the fuck, why the fuck, y'all ain't with the motherfucker, y'all they with then? Why, why, why y'all broken up? Because a bad bitch deserves to be a bad bitch by herself. It, exactly. Like, and, I'm and a single bad bitch. And, 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 and my point exactly. A red flag is a red flag, no matter, no matter where it goes, no matter where, where you at, no matter where you've been. A red flag is a red flag. I rest my motherfucking case. Craig, Craig, Craig. Hold on, silence. I rest my case. That was the what? perfect. I rest no, my case. You're fucking up. Be, because Anywho. because y'all have not no, ex- y'all y'all ain't proved my my opinion. What's wrong the name of your significant far. other? Mariah. Carrie. We're gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More likely. It's more likely Miss Carrie. Than what a, what I'm saying. Person. What I'm saying is is. They don't. They don't like to to admit. Okay. They, they wanna. They wanna okay. agree with the okay. shit. They so, wanna so, agree with. Let, let me, I'm giving you cold hard facts. Let's I'm giving in. you cold hard but facts human needs that a sex. woman that a every woman girl, left a no good sex. nigga to be with a more actually, no good nigga actually, you know and to leave that no good no good nigga to be with a woman. And still leave that woman. Okay. So what I'm saying is a red flag is a red flag. Right. What I'm saying is, is if you're a red flag, you are a red flag no matter who you are with. I agree. I, and, I, and, I, I, and, I agree. If you're not. 
my, my thing we is, talk I, about I, the pink flag over here. We talk oh, about red, red okay. flag light. Okay, listen. My thing the is red this. flag is up and all. My thing is this, though. Okay, so, no, so, no, no, okay, so I, so my thing is this. Regardless of whether you're, whether you're a man or a woman, you can still have many red flags, and regardless, you know what I mean. And I don't want y'all to think like it's a man or woman thing, or no, no, it's not. I'm yeah, just, yeah, I'm I know. Bullshit. I know you like to this bullshit yeah, and, yeah, and, 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 and y'all. stir the goddamn pot. I don't okay. be hating, yeah, hey, hot listen, stir. look, look, look. I, I, goddamn... just, I just be bullshitting to get them mad, y'all. I love my women. He's, I love he's my a women, fucking y'all. cook. Hey, 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 I mean, hey, hey, real shit, man. Hey, hey, I be hyping that ass up off this show. Off this show. Off this show, I be hyping that ass up. I'll be hiding that ass up off this show. He said, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> no, okay, but I'll just say this. Like, we're going to go, we're going to move. Because actually, this is still, we're still in the same topic, but we're going to go into every human needs a reality check. And I think Evan said Craig needs a reality check. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, Evan. You and me both. <laughs> You because, know what? Red flag and a reality check. In because, because that's what I'm talking and I really about. Because, I, because, that's what I'm talking about. Because every about. human does need like somebody to be like, you know what, bitch, get a grip. Like, like get get your shit together. Yeah. Like, what the who the fuck you talking yeah. to? Like, transparently, I had yeah. to, I had that conversation myself like a month or two ago. I had to myself like I was kind of the problem. Yeah, well, yeah, because you know what? Honestly, yeah. if you don't check accountability, yeah, I'm kind of the that, problem. It, it comes to you. You have to check yourself. A reality check. Yeah, like, I had to realize like my attitude and my like my, and me being so independent. It can be an issue sometimes in my relationships because like I don't need nobody for shit. What the dick you give yeah. me, I can give myself. So like oh. the money you give me, I can give myself. So it's like I feel like I don't need anybody. But it's like if I don't need anybody, I wouldn't be looking for nobody. You know? Yeah. Man. So it's like, Heaven. so it's like Woo! they can fill a void. They can give me a void. They can give me something that I can't give myself, which is companionship. So I'm learning like I can also be toxic, and that's me being transparent. Like I know I'm not always perfect, which I know I am. And if you say I'm wrong, get my there. Okay. Yeah. But like, um, your mother, that eyes, like, your mama's not you know, perfect. the same way. Like for I felt like you know I had a problem where. I kind of grew up with a, a grandmother that was kind of like really like leadership and really kind of bossy, and yeah. a bossy in a Talk sense. So the problem is like I kind of have that mentality with my life, and I don't, and I kind of want to control a lot of things. I have to reality check myself. Like you can't control everything, and you can't you can't be controlling any, like anything but yourself. Okay. Control yourself, and that's why you can be, like honestly, sometimes it, it makes people unattractive to you, it makes people not want to be around you, it makes you feel like. You know what the fuck? Like, damn, right. bitch, like, can I have some ranks mm. on my own? You know, bro, what I mean? literally. So it makes you know, it makes people not want to hang around you or make you know friendships hard or relationships. They can make a lot of things hard. So I kind of learned to just go with the flow and not be controlling anything but my own emotions and the reactions. Not trying to control the atmosphere of the situation or anything. What I can't control, control and what you can't do not. And be understanding you, of other people. Be understanding. You, you know what I mean? And that's a real reality check. Yeah. Because in the, the day, uh, motherfucker, you talk, you sabotage yourself. Yes, yeah, self sabotage you know is what? real, especially when it comes to like platonic that's, relationships and, and yeah, relationships, that's real shit. romantic and platonic. That's we can be our own shit, sabotage. Can I say something? Of course. Yes. Can we get a little oh. feedback from our guests? Of course. I, I, I feel like you know we get a little bit wrapped up in ours. You know? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Light skin Corey. Light skin Corey. Yes, you're embracing it. I mean, I agree with everything you. I agree with everything you just said. Like, I mean, I thought it was set up pretty good for this, but um, <laughs> but uh, I mean, based on everything you said, I mean, I agree with it. I mean, what you were saying before, I mean, as far as men and women, like I know that was trying to like spark controversy a little, but I also know like Started at the end of the day, everyone agrees. Like you're saying, if you red flag, you're red flag. Like I mean, you move from one thing to the next. Like I feel like you could be somebody who's just attracted to drama in your life. You know, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like some people are. That like, is you know, not everyone is. That's true. Like motherfucker. Some people. I mean, they don't realize they're doing it. Maybe even always. You know, but some people. You know, like. I don't know. You got ways to get rid of your tension in your life or whatever. You know, maybe it's smoking. That's your thing. Whatever your vice is. But some people like it's. They don't have they don't do it that way you know they some things get out your body through other things and maybe it's like physical fighting or something like people do mma and shit like Damn. in their side but some people might just be like people get out their in their personal relationships fight. you know drama like that shit That's can right. also do it too Kevin, I would beat you, up. you know what you know what Say that shit again. Mom, you know what i think i think is is him being initiated in the light skin nigga that making you him talk so like this irritated. that's yeah, making him talk a way to like release this. your stress and shit like oh, help but you. That I mean, make, it doesn't always get released healthy, and sometimes that, that make, might be what a red flag is. That make you're, fucking you're sense. Releasing it in the wrong way. Like, you know, some people need some fucking Bruh. exercise in the I'm life. so yeah. fucking proud, yeah. no, bro. Because he is hitting some shit I'm today. proud. I am proud, too. Like, oh, bro, my God. Is a beast. 
we got to hit them fucking treadmills. That'll get the stress out. I'll be chilling. That's real shit. Okay, 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 honestly, but okay. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me get, let me get, let me get, let me get my red flag. Can you like get my red flag out or let me get my shit out instead of like going to cheat? Like some niggas instead of going to cheat and, and fuck off, they can go to the gym and play some ball or go to the gym and do it or that and, and actually do what they got. Or even women or Can whatever. we play devil's advocate? Well, well, let's just say if it's relationship related, Let instead of getting we, back at your partner, that nigga some shit, can go into the gym and work and whatever it is instead of like play trying to or, or your hobby or whatever. Can we play, the fuck that that can, no, but we, okay, devil's advocate. Let's play devil's advocate. Like, let's say I am dating. <laughs> Shay, right? Uh-huh. And me and Shay are equally cheating on each other, but we know we love each other, so we feeding into the toxic shit. Like she gonna post a picture of her of her on some she single, she ready to mingle. I'm gonna post a picture with my guns on some. I'm ready to blow this bitch up. So like we 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 kind of feeding into each other, right? So at that point, it's like who's the bigger red flag? Is that the but, but listen, this is what I'll listen, say. Listen, cheating has to be. If you guys are either established in the beginning that cheating yeah. wasn't okay in your relationship, no, 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 but you, and you don't do that. Cheating, or let, you guys let, are let, okay let, with let, being open. So let cheating is never acceptable in any monogamous relationship. We could all clarify that, right? Like right. we yeah. never accept cheating. So it's like after some while you cheat, I cheat, we cheat, we all cheaters, but we still together. So after a while, are you just becoming complacent with the toxicity that you are allowing because that is the person that you want to be with? I think the moment or you is it because stay with them after they cheat? Yeah, or is right. it because that you are comfortable with the fact that you are both toxic and you kind of want to only deal with this toxic person? Because, you know, everybody has toxic points. I actually, so I'd rather deal with her toxic shit that I'm already familiar with to deal with your shit. I got to guess and choose what the fuck you toxic with. I, I got to relearn the rest of I don't like that. Toxic, no can, I can I say something? Can I say something to that? Because yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I actually have something to that. Like, I honestly believe that some people are comfortable because they know nobody else will put up with that shit. And and, and I and, and, and I do believe that just just even even when we cheat, even when we cheat, you can cheat with somebody that oh yeah, I, I cheat while you in a relationship, but when I'm in a relationship, that ain't that ain't that ain't finna happen. Nah, bitch, I love my but, hey, hey <laughs> shit has shit has blew me before. But but I but I honestly feel that sometimes people they they choose that comfortability they choose that because they know when a person from a front established that shit is is you ain't it ain't finna be no we can talk about this or we can go through this and shit like that you comfortable with that person because that's the person that's gonna put up with your bullshit that's the person that's been you they setting your ways now. You know what I mean? They're they're used to you. Another person ain't gonna put up with that shit. They not finna put up with that, you know, other shit, whether they have more or less. They not gonna put up with that shit, whether you know the motherfucker now. A motherfucker, you know, they they're gonna continue to what they know. Yeah. Nobody's gonna leave what they know for something totally different that yeah. they're unsure of. Yeah. A motherfucker that they know, even though I can do this, I can do this, I can still come back. Literally. I can do this. I can do this. She's still gonna get this for me. I can, you know, I can. I can do this. Talk to this nigga, but but he's still gonna fuck with me if I don't just take it this far. You know what I mean? People get like that, and that's red flagging. Y'all red flagging together because yeah, that's fact. because that is you know what I mean. But but I honestly I, I feel that way. I feel like people do get comfortable, and people they know that like like what he said. You establish that shit in the beginning. And I feel like at first, if you don't allow, like, you can forgive people. I'm not saying just don't forgive. Everybody make mistakes. You know what I mean? That's not saying people, you know, everybody make mistakes. That's not saying don't forgive. But when it comes to a point where this is a lifestyle and you're living in it, hey, either you allowing it you chose or, or you that red flag. You got to accept, you got to accept one or the other. Either you're going to leave or you gonna condone? Those are the people that walk or in and feel. I feel that yeah, it's a yeah, red or correct. flag. Like, no oh, cap. Let me step over that red flag. But let's little, let's sit on that market. That's what good dick do. Craig, you. Hey, oh my god. Craig was like, it's either Don't we forgive or we forget, or sometimes it's just a mistake. We are consciously aware when we doing some shit that's gonna offend our partners. Yeah, we are consciously aware when we know that my, my partner not gonna like this shit. But I'm gonna do this shit because regardless, we feed into ourselves. Like if you know that you're gonna do some shit, like my partner don't really like when I do this, but it's like fuck it, I enjoy it, so I'm gonna do that shit. We are consciously aware when we doing some shit that's gonna offend our partners or make our partners feel some type of way. It's just the fact that us feeling a good, uh, us feeling that good energy, that good emotion that comes from whatever we're doing, that action. Over 
overstimulates more than what our partner's feelings. Our feelings are are more important than our partners in that exact moment. I know my partner isn't hypothetically speaking isn't gonna like the fact that I'm gonna post this picture, but it makes me feel good, so I'm gonna post it because it's comfortable for me. And gives me a high, like gives me a high. Yeah. So I'm not really worried about the emotions. It's based off of how we feel. We're more conscious that we're we doing some fucked up shit. We just not, we just gonna act like we just like you know. Oh my god! But, but, but I never knew. And also, and so I'm saying it comes with a reality check because we check yourself. Like you know, this is going to affect um, a situ- partner. your partner, or, the, or even a friendship, whatever, whatever right. it could be. Hell, it could be your mom and daddy. Your mom and daddy might not like. I ain't saying do anything for your mom and daddy or shit, but my mom and dad might not like this or or what they might not if they agree with this. Let me, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't want to say live your life for nobody else, but also be mindful and be conscious that, that it that affects somebody else. It could affect someone else. else. This shit too. Kind of think. Think about someone else in the sense you don't have to necessarily be a red flag to where you are selfish. And I, and I think know, a lot of people are. That selfish. is a, that is a great yeah. way. That and is a, a great way because a lot of times I feel like my my way or the highway. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's like sometimes because I know that it, it's like this. I know that I can say these things. I can say that I don't. You know, you can leave. You can do all this and this. But when you gone, I'm hurting like a motherfucker. Man, you know what I mean. Like I'm going through it and shit like that. But in all actuality, you need that. You know yeah. what I mean? You need that other person. And checking yourself in reality check, it is being considerate of that other person. Yes, it is. You know, it yeah. really is. And it's and I think we make it more so complicated. Yeah. We we try to justify our, you know what I mean, our doings by justifying the situations. You know, yeah. oh, it's not that serious. Oh, it's not that what's the name. And in reality, we need to check ourselves and just keep that shit simple. Yeah. Would you do the same? Would you like that person doing the same thing you were doing? Yeah. And 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 I say and I say that not being not I say that being a person that was brought upon this. Would you like doing the same thing that would you like your partner doing the same thing that you're doing? Right. And I say that being real because I think people we don't when we do it we do it in a selfish selfish state. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Sometimes we don't think about our Pacific, you know, our significant other in that light at that time. No. But in all actuality, we need we need to. Yeah, we do. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we'll go fucking hand. We'll we'd have been in fucking around and tear the fucking the car windows off. What's the little side mirrors and shit? We'd have been to tear the side mirrors oh off the goddamn. God. He said, "Bitch, you ain't gonna see nothing in your in your blind spot." Hey, hey, you hey, know hey, what I mean? Can I contribute to this? Yes, of course. Always. Please. First do. off. I'm the type that got my side mirrors wiped off by by an ex. So so yeah, you ain't gonna see nothing. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I never I never did that. I was just bullshitting. But yeah. but but to the to the nigga that did that to my girl Shaylee, you a petty, you a petty, you a very petty individual. You are a very petty individual. He said, "My nigga, my my nigga, let me hey, let me let me find out. That's how y'all met and shit." Somebody got your side mirror. Me too. Yeah, yeah, my truck got kicked in the middle of the night, bro. And like we saw in the video, like, my neighbor has cameras. And hey, like, look, I just want to say to that, <laughs> to that, to that man, sir, you are a petty and you are a red flag. These people was in their crib sleeping or whatever and chilling. And and your ass okay, okay, got up okay. out the comfort of your my home. Question, my question is, what red flag? What red flag did you? <laughs> what red flag did y'all do? What what made him do those things? First off, first off, apparently you can't just break up with niggas immediately. Oh, oh, I never even met him. When, when, have done, when have you ever done? When have you ever done that? When did that ever happen? We never meet them. We never meet them. They just they just become a they just become a part of a nigga life. We never meet the niggas. Right. We never meet these niggas. These niggas do plenty. I just want to say these, these niggas are red flags. Please watch out for them because they do plenty shit and we never meet these no, niggas. No. We might see these niggas, but by the time we get to where we can get to these niggas, these niggas gone. These, these niggas gone. Don't they matter no more. I he like, he like, I don't even know this nigga. He, he said, 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 what'd you give me a ring? I never <laughs> saw you in real life. He said, okay. "I go with. I, I mean, I, I go with her now. What's the deal? Like that's crazy. That's insane. Sitting up there. Reality think, check. Reality, reality check. Checks. Let me tell. Thinking you. about a motherfucker that ain't thinking about you. Matt. Thinking about somebody that ain't thinking about you. That's a reality check for your motherfucking ass. And let's keep this shit well, real, well, right that's, quick. That, that's where it comes with all I need is sixty seconds. I, I, all I need 
Insecurity. Insecurity. Ben, let that let that girl go. Let, let that, that woman let go. Let that woman go. Stop if that woman wanna listen. Request to talk if, to this woman, let her if, go. If that woman keeps that, fucking and, with and, the man. same nigga, yeah. you oh, no, you hello, keep hello, catching hello, her hello, with. Pause, 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 pause. You can send the cash out money but do not send me a crap cash out request send the money but send don't send no request because i'm gonna take me and my nigga out of the day it's a request it's a request for messages like come on now you don't I, but you're not giving me no money that's a red out. flag right there if if you can contact that's me a red flag. Get a first of all listen door. i'm not finna listen i'm tell you right now you can't come back i'm not finna <laughs> add you back on facebook I, if you if you block me, delete me. I'm not finna write you on Cash App. No, I'm not finna write you in and my don't email. Don't bad about your mama. Another shit. Yeah, none none of that. that's shit. a okay. red flag. Or your mental, too. or your mental health. Oh, or, none of that. Oh, I'm that. mentally the challenge. Go get some help. No, there's numbers. You there's I'm, I'm, check I'm, yourself, yeah, my brother. Check yourself. Check yourself, you know, my brother. You know, check it. Check into. A mental hospital. I, I, That's what they're for. I, I'll say. I'll say this about the ex. I'm not a therapist. This is the craziest shit I ever heard. I had an ex that um, ended up messing up my jaw, right? And er, uh, hit me, broke, broke, broke my jaw, right? And this ex, like, even, even, like, um, you would have situations, and I would be, it would be cold, and if my jaw hurt, he'd be like, "Your jaw don't hurt that much. It's not that serious." That oh, yeah. and and I'll be like, and I'll be saying to myself, like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Like you don't know how this feels. How the but fuck you know? Like that was a, that was a, that we were at a music park and it's a fat ass red flag. That's a, fla- a red flag. I'm like I, I, that's the American fucking flag with yeah, the, with the stars and, and everything included, Maybe. nigga. Like you know what I mean? But people don't check themselves to say to themselves. But this is a fucked up thing. They were in an abusive relationship for years, for years. Oh yeah. And they don't and they oh, don't yes. see that they could they become abusive themselves. Oh, damaged goods. So, Damn, it's good. so, so that's what, and that's what really cra- was crazy for you to like the person, the person they were going with, they were with from like uh, fifteen to sixteen. The person was older than them, and they had been hit in the head with guns. They had been um like like beat badly in, in public. Like it was just a horrible relationship. And for you to say to me, um, "Oh, your jaw doesn't hurt that much, or it's not that serious. You're only doing you're only doing that to make me feel bad." You know what? You know what? No, no, no. no. Let me let me say this because what you hit on you hit on some very very close to home. I went with a certain individual. Now this person was damaged goods. This person was in an abusive relationship. But the fucked up thing was, this is how this person communicated. This is how this person cared. And 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 I and I hope this person have got better in past relationship. This was a while ago. You know, I hope this person has got better and know her self worth, but. What I'm saying is, is people, we we accept so much shit. And yeah. just because we are at a situation or at a time in our life where we are accepting this shit at, you know what I mean? We don't have to accept the shit we are in. Never. And I think people, they accept that shit and this is what they be. You know, uh, this girl, she wanted me to physically put my hands on her to show her I care for her. If a person like have to, or like choke her during sex, like, like, like no, 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 no. We pass sex at this point. You know what I mean? We pass sex at this point. I'm talking about to if a person like when we arguing. If a person don't feel like I'm physically putting my hands on you or forcing myself on you, I don't care for you or I'm not caring that much. This is how this is how bad a situation is. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I feel like people like that. Not not even to say people like that because I feel like that's a victim. That's a you know, you are a victim of some shit, but it's also with checking yourself. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm showing you that it's a different way, yes, and you're not trying to accept it a different way, like I said, we all have a choice. Yes. We we have a choice to keep going the same route we're going to. Now I'm not saying that the choice is easier than others, you know what I mean? Because shit, sometimes that choice is real hard. Sometimes that choice is hard as fuck. Sometimes that choice gonna hurt. Yeah. But we all have a choice. Yes. You know what I mean? And just because we take the easy route out of shit, that don't exempt us from having that red flag. That's sick. That's, that's that all that I'm one. saying. Like, that that no, motherfucker, no. it brings me to my point that I had, like, bro, like, the, like I was saying before, 
when you identify the red flag, what's next? Part two, what we're doing to confront the red flag. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not always as simple as just leaving, you know what I'm saying? Like, or just being done with that person, you know what I'm saying? Or just, you know what I'm saying? Ex community, you know what I'm saying? Right. It got to be some resolution, you know what I'm saying? Like, some resolution so this don't confirmation. My, my nigga, so it don't happen again. And like, because I, I want better for you, you know what I'm saying? I think reality check, I think we should all take into account like our vices and like our insecurities, you know what I'm saying? Because they do play out in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though they're suppressed, you know what I'm saying? They do play out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gonna notice it because you, you so used to it. You know what mm. I'm saying? So it's so important that we're aware of these things. We're so conscious, you know what I'm saying? So that we're, so that we're not only, not projecting our problems onto our partner, you know what I'm saying? Or, or even relationships, our moms, you know what I'm saying? Like we got to take care of one another as a human race. We have, we're all we got, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we're facts. all we got, like, you know what I'm saying? We need to start looking at each other as more of a family view rather than like cutting somebody off because they're toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, yeah, they're facts. still going to be toxic elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, let's work on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, let's actually address the issues. You know what I'm saying? So that way, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing to get defensive about. It's something I noticed. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and it will play out in another scenario. Let's let's address it together. You know and can I? Oh no! I, 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 okay, let me just. I want to say, and the, and the, I love that, and the, and the thing about that is, shit, the problem is, that we, and I don't mean, never let you go. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna say, um, the problem with that be it shades like even when you if we work on addressing it, you can work on addressing it with the person, right? And the problem is, like you say, if they don't check themselves, then it become it becomes a habit of where you're arguing an un, an inevitable fight. You're fighting an inevitable war. You're fighting a war that's going. I mean, it's going. It's unfortunately, it's almost like um, it's like infinity wars. Like honestly, like no bullshit. Like at the end of the day, he's gonna get he's gonna get this gauntlet in regardless. You know what I'm saying? Type shit, and he's gonna erase the people anyway. It's one of people. It's one of those things where people sometimes, even if you check them in or try to talk to them about something that they're doing wrong, sometimes they may not. They just don't see it that way. They only see it one way, and they only see it the way of this is what it is. And I think those are horrible red flags because when you don't check yourself in about the shit that you may do wrong or how you could have contributed to that, like you said, then you you're you're, ne- you're enabling yourself. You know what I'm saying? Fact. You're enabling yourself of growth. Fact. You know what I mean? How can you grow if you feel like you're perfect and everything you do is perfect? You know what I mean? Uh, no and that's just honestly, I feel like I agree with you. Like you know, we definitely need to definitely like have that family and that that love where we could try to help. The red flags out and help people with themselves but sometimes people just are unhelpable <laughs> you know right. what i mean i hate to say that and i don't want to say it about certain everybody but there's some people you just feel like what is my point what what am i here for or maybe i'm not the person that can help you with this i can't Fact. i maybe i'm not that i'm not that person that can help you i'm not that um blue flag that can help you turn into a, a, a change that red flag but that kind of t- t- ties I, but maybe in, somebody else is that ties in with the everyone isn't meant for every chapter some people are not meant for the whole book not some people are not meant for sequels with just that specific page that specific chapter mm-hmm. not everyone is meant to travel with us for our whole journey yeah they're only meant for certain lessons and for certain mm. experiences but they're not meant to experience our whole Man. life that is crazy that's crazy. How the fuck? I hate having. She going. She said, "Yeah," and that's it. And it's it's she, she is so irritated. She said, "That's all I have to say," and I'm done. No. <laughs> no, that's that's valid. Were you, were you gonna say anything? I'm gonna never get to. Nah, you guys kill it. Like, what were you gonna say, brother? You know what? It, it was just more so what y'all was saying, man. Just fix the problem. Yeah. It, 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 and really, like, I feel like at at times, like. People and fixing the problem is not also fixing a person, it's fixing yourself. If you're too nice, you know what I mean, too giving, you got to fix that. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're too, you know what I mean, nurturing to, you know, too willing to let people into your space, you got to fix that. You know what I mean? And, and I definitely, I definitely feel that because it's not just the other person. It, a lot of times, listen, Lil Wayne said, change. Lil Wayne said something. He said, "He Lil Wayne said, change start with that man in the mirror. I love that, Michael, that I woman Jackson, in I love Michael Jackson said that. Michael Jackson and Lil Wayne. Okay. I, I heard it. I knew I heard it from one of the two. But, but he said, but no, no, no boy though. I feel like real shit, even if you address shit and just like everything we talk about addressing it, uh, acknowledging it. When you have that choice, you gotta 
you got to have that shit for yourself too. The same energy you have for other people, you got to have for yourself. And if that's not, if that's not for you and you're not the person for this person, you're not, you can be as good of a person as you want to, but you put yourself at their level when you stay at that level. Mm. So it makes you no know better than, that's why like the same when, when people say everybody are created equal. The reason why they say that is because my height might not be your height, but everybody's downfall the same. Mm. When everybody's at their lowest, we all feel the same. Mm-hmm. Now, when we are the highest, we might feel something different. When everybody's at their lowest, we is exactly the same for everybody. Mm-hmm. When nothing is nothing, something is something different. Yeah. When we ain't got shit, we on the same motherfucking level. That's why we created ego. We all we all feel that we ain't we all feel like we ain't got shit. What did you want to introduce on the fucking real? And that brings me to our point. Hope y'all enjoyed our topic, red flagging for the day on the fucking real. And I'm and I'm gonna start this off definitely human needs and reality check. I hope we got through to to a lot of people today. I really did. You know, we come from a real place. So my on the fucking real is re inspire. I really fuck with that today. Uh, and, and, and I feel like a, as an initiation. Yeah. You better got some cool points. As, on an, the as, as an initiation, as the first person I initiated to change races on this show and to turn a light skin brother so ignorant ass from a white. I just I just felt yeah. like it's my it's my duty and my responsibility and my opportunity that I'm proud. I'm proud of this brother right here and re inspired. He re inspired me just to go that much harder and the things that I am doing yeah. and not just to keep myself in that box and just to broaden my horizon. And even if I come through some setbacks or come up to some setbacks, knowing that if I keep going and keep standing with the fuck I believe in yeah. shit, will opportunities will arise just like this one did for him. Yeah. So I just want to say my light skin brother definitely taught me something today and reassured me something today. Re-inspired. I'm re-inspired today. And that's on the what? On the fucking real. Yeah, yo. Go ahead, Helen. I like that. That was good. I enjoyed that. Thank you. You got your nut off. Go ahead, Ben. <laughs> um, <laughs> get your stupid ass. Yeah. Uh, fucking help. Um, to conclude this episode, my on the fucking real is. Oh, okay, cool. My on the fucking real is be set boundaries for yourself. Know when you have had enough and know when you are at your Storm. pushing mark. Damn, we can share. Um, know when you have at your pushing mark, you know. Be able to set standards and boundaries for yourself. Don't allow people to give you their last goods or their breadcrumbs to make you feel hung to like fill you up. You know, like they need to give you a full course meal for you to be hungry, for you to sabotate and be able to end that hunger. They need to give you a full course meal. Don't take no fucking breadcrumbs from these weak ass people. Oh, I know that's right. I know that's right. No cap. That's on the real. On the fucking real. On the fucking real. So, Clay, what's your on the fucking real today, man? I mean, Takeaway from all that is I feel like it's really important, you know, to just like the people that you're going to have in your life, know yourself and like know what you want from those people, I guess. And if they're not the right ones, I mean, they might, you might be time to move on from them, but I also think you ain't got to be nice. You can tell them what the fuck it is. Tell me to get the fuck on. Well, yeah, but I'm also saying like, I feel like, you know, you got to, if it's the right person, I feel like you can communicate your issues and they're not going to continue to be a red flag for you. Yeah. Okay. That's right. You know what I mean? You're right. but some people might, like you said, you can't get through to them and you might have to cut ties. You got to, I think at the end, it's just knowing yourself and what you want out of life and the people around you have to be an extension of that. You know? I did. And that. that's I did. That. That. And that's on the fucking real. All right. On the yeah. fucking real. Go ahead, then, Pete. Don't worry about it. All right, look at my boy. To conclude this episode, what my takeaway would be essentially. I don't want to steal yours. I'm going to go in a whole different direction. Go ahead, then. Spin off. <laughs> Spin off. <laughs> My on the fucking real is to have yourself prepared. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared. Like, have the... What's that? It's a saying, y'all. It's a saying. I'm trying to think. Prepare for the worst, but expect... Like, prepare for the worst, but expecting the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, know, know what you're trying to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Like, prepare yourself like you know what i'm saying this world ain't nobody told you life is easy nobody ever said that that's gonna fucking happen you know what i'm Fair. saying like bro like adapt to what's happening deal with it move on 
No one owes you anything. On the fucking real. I'm a fucking real. Girl. I think um, my takeaway from everything is just, um, I would just say for me, just be intentional with everything that you do. Be intentional with all of your, with all of your things. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you, right. when you, when you, when friendships, relationships, um, whatever it is, be intentional and, and try to make the best decision. And when that comes with the reality check, and that comes with checking yourself and knowing, um, knowing yourself. And I feel like get a chance, take the time to get to know yourself. The more you get to know yourself, the better you are to people. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I feel like. The, the best you, you can't be your best self if you don't know who your best self is. Get your nut off mm. me. So, and that's on the fucking real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, you know what I'm saying? And on that fucking note, we bang, are. Bang. Where is fuck? fuck we out of here. Hey. Have a good night, guys. Shit, Have a great Saturday. Please me. get drunk for us. Yeah, We're already drunk, Heaven. <laughs> 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 It's the complex, it's the complex, it's the complex, yeah. It's the complex, it's the complex. It's the complex, and it's complex, it's the complex, yeah, and it's complex. Come smoke and chill and have a drink with me. with me Where we talk about any and everything No conversations off limits, no topics taboo Got something off your chest, let the complex be with you Got my boy Ozell, he's seen like a bird But on the complex, he's Ray Hale, that's my word Then we got the noob and you got us, the beautiful queen Giving you a little piece of heaven if you know what I mean Shout out to my girl Shaylee, no introduction needed Giving you all the love and energy that's really needed I'm the one they call Murdoch and we the complex, no competition We better than the rest, man, I gotta check my phone for the dialect Hey yo, said we be the complex Say, it's the complex, and it's complex, and we complex, it's the complex, and it's complex.